Happy Monday. Happy Monday, my friends. Gonna be playing with Earth Babies tonight. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm gonna tune in right here and see who may be in the chat already. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hold on here. Hold on here. Everything's coming together. There we are right there. Crystal's in the house. Hi, Crystal. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. Hope all is well. There's my hummingbird. Hello, hummingbird. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, happy Monday, everybody. Going to be playing tarot. I, I, I pulled out uh, uh, Heaven and Earth tarot tonight. Going to play with Heaven and Earth. Miss Lady, hello. Welcome, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. Earth Baby Love. I like that. I like that. I will be doing live personal readings this evening. After we're done with Earth Babies here. If you'd like to grab a reading with me tonight, it's easily done. There's a couple ways you can grab a reading with me. The first way is to smash that join button. Become a member of this amazing family that we have here. Uh, we do meetings every Wednesday and every Saturday night. Also, um, well, you get a perk once a month with me. Every time you re-up your membership, you get a reading with me. Over here, there's five different levels. You choose the amount of time that I would spend with you. Or we can go with a one-time super chat, $9.99. I think it's your reading with me tonight. I do take all my payments through uh, YouTube Super Chat right here. I don't take any other payments through any other medium. $9.99, that'll get you about an 8 to 10 minute reading with me. And of course, all my existing members, every time you catch me live, check that Super Chat area right there. Check that money button. Open that up. Don't be afraid to open that up, my members. That's where you find your milestone marker. All you got to do is click it. It's a green one that comes up. I give you a shout out and we pull some cards here for you. Like I said, we will put that list together after I'm done with Earth Babies tonight. And I read in the order with which they come in. Let me see here. Miss O is in the house. Hi, Miss O. Nice to see you. Uh, Nadira. Hope I said that right. Greetings, my friend, my Virgo friend. Ariella, hello, my friend. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Keys is in the house. Hey, Keys. Veronica, hi, Veronica, my lovely Libra. Nice to see you. Jillian's here. Hi, Jillian. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, hello, hello. This is Deanne. Hi, Deanne. Happy Monday, everybody. Everybody be sure and hit the like button for me if you haven't thought about that yet. Appreciate it so very, very much. And it is Monday, Earth Babies Nights, huh? We're going to go Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let me see if I can get this over here a little bit more. Looks like I need to fix this one up a little bit as well. Hopefully that's better. Hello, everybody. Wow, my props are, my props took the weekend off too. <laughs> We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that so we can get to the cards. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you tonight. Earth Babies Night. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Let's let's tune in around here. Let's tune in around here. Tarot. Love team. I'm going to play a little bit of tarot with my Earth Babies tonight. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's tell them what they need to know most of their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help on my earth, baby. Seeing here what they need out of these cards tonight. 
Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together nice, clear, accurate stories for all my friends' highest good. Thank you for a spirit of fun and joy as we play a little bit of tarot here tonight, love team. Thank you so very much for everything. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. All right, all right, all right. Reads tonight. Hello, hello. Mystical. Hello, hello, my Taurus friends. Maybe that'll get all right. <laughs> I'm done fiddling with my props. Let's rock and roll. Taurus babies. Taurus babies. A lovely, lovely Taurus. Tap into the Taurus Collective Love Team. Thank you so very much. Let's rock and roll. Taurus style, huh? Hello. Taurus, Ramda and Mike here, gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Taurus. Appreciate your views. You know I do, you know I do. Also wanna thank you for your many, many gifts over the years. Have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Taurus? Thank you so very much. So very kind of you, appreciate it all. Large or small. I'm gonna be playing with the heaven and earth tonight. Love this deck, haven't played with it in a while. In a freestyle with it, Taurus. These are relationship spreads. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. Now, I do got some love cards on here. You may want to stick around for a love card or two, Taurus. Also going to play with the classic uh, Witch's Tarot right here. Love that one as well. And I still have my Mystic Moon Oracle sitting on my deck. Along with a couple of Major Arcana. From the Terra Illuminati. Gonna give you a nice full spread. All that being said, let's do it. Taurus, babies. Taurus. What's heaven and earth got to say for Taurus? Let's do it. Let's cut this deck. tarot time. Taurus style. What's going on? Taurus. 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 <laughs> And Taurus, you pulled the tree of life right here. As an overall, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, hip hip hurrah. Hip hip hurrah. I mean, that can be the golden uh, coin chest. It can be the, you know, the little white picket fence and the big pink house. It does have a loving couple over here in this picture. That's somebody standing there staring at him too, Taurus. Somebody's standing there staring at him. I don't know. I would see that as possibly the power couple. Taurus, you pulled 10 pins as an overall. Hip, hip, hurrah. I don't know if cards get much better than that. Let's see what the tarot has to say for my Taurus babies. Taurus babies. Rocking with the 10 pins overall. Give me one. Why are you pulling 10s? <laughs> You're pulling 10s, Taurus. That's ten swords right there. I kind of, I kind of wondered who that was that may be staring at a loving couple over here. Could be somebody that stuck a whole bunch of swords in your back, Taurus. You know, this is a Gemini card. It's, it's actually the sun in Gemini. It does talk about the ending of a painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. That's what I'm talking about. Lion, deception, all of that's with ten swords. Can indicate that those days are coming to an end. You got two tens. You definitely completed some kind of cycle right here, my Taurus friends. Let's go. Give me more on this. Give me more on this. For my Taurus babies. Taurus. Six pinnacles. Hmm. Six pinnacles. Um, well, you know. Six Pentacles by Ten Swords. I can talk about that old uh, <laughs> uh, bread crummer, you know. Uh, they got knives as well. Lord have mercy, Taurus. Taurus, let's go. Give me some. There's the three cups right here. Well, I mean, three cups besides six pinnacles and ten swords. 
could mean there was just too many people at the party. You know what I'm talking about, Taurus? Can't talk very much about too many people at the party, but it can indicate um, a season of happiness and joy and bliss coming in here for you, too, with the Ten Pins and the Three Cups. But uh, there just may have been too many, too many people over here. Leaving Taurus under the tree right there. Uh, you know, this is four cups on Taurus. Any book you read talks about these cups being empty. This could be talking about a new a new cup being offered up here for you, Taurus. Could very well be talking about a new cup. I told you Ten Swords can talk about the ending of a painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. And here comes your son. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. Look at that right there. I don't. I don't know if you've uh, talking with somebody new. I hope that you are. It's definitely time to leave that situation behind. There's another major arcana right here, Taurus. It's called justice. Ooh. Uh, big Libra. That's a card. That's a major arcana. It's a card for me about the gods getting involved in your life, Taurus. Weighing the, weighing the scales of the conditions of people's hearts. And the scales falling in your favor. Looks like the, the sun may be offered to you soon if it hasn't already been. Love justice after ten swords, six pinnacles, and three cups. Very, very nice, Taurus. Got your loving on yourself. Taking a day at the park, possibly. Get a little fresh air. There's an indicator right there. There's a cup, baby, and it went to the sun. It went to the sun right here. All my lovely, lovely Taurus. Here's a very powerful card of change. Change for Taurus. A tower brings an ending. It's the gods getting involved in the situation. Uh, you know, home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids, could be love. Taurus, look at this promise right here. I love tarot. I always get excited with it. Now there's your major arcana, male or female. That's the Hierophant. Uh, great wisdom with this card. Great spirituality can be with this card as well. This can also be about learning a, a whole lot of life lessons. Gaining wisdom, right, from these kind of journeys right here. You know, if anything, let's grab some wisdom on the way out the door, huh? It's also a hair fan showed up here with ten pinnacles in the sun, Taurus. And it is indicating, huh, some kind of new beginning for many of my Tauruses. That is, that is the two cups right there, Taurus. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Justice. Justice in the sun. Major Arcanas. Justice in the sun. The Hierophant. Your Major Arcana. To two cups. Well, 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 well. Let's get the Witch's Tarot out and see what it has to say here, Taurus. Closing out a cycle, so it looks like to me. <laughs> Leaving the bread karmas behind. Three cups. That's a card of celebration. It can be a card of meeting somebody new. Or, I mean, it can be about, you know, it can be about somebody that you know as well. Coming into your life. A little bit of healing right here. A little bit of time of the divine. Reevaluate and thinking about everything, you know, the hair and four cups would talk with that. If you're if you're resonating with this spread, you gotta love justice in the sun, and your overall is ten pinnacles, which is the tree of life. Nice shift in a nice shift of energy right here, Taurus. Looks like something pretty special may be showing up in your life soon if it hasn't already begun. I'm happy for you, Taurus. All right, let's play with the witch's tarot. See what it has to say. Give me something for my Taurus babies, please. Tower on ten swords. Tower on six pinnacles. Tower on three cups. 
and an ace through that. An ace of a new beginning, an ace that will cut the chains that bind so that my Taurus can fly high like that eagle right there. An ace of swords can be about new communication as well coming in here for my Taurus. Give me something on this. Taurus babies, Taurus babies, Taurus babies. Taurus babies. Wow, well, this is the jailhouse right there. You know, that's my car to being stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck in this situation. Uh, but the, the tower blows you right on out of that. Coming up and coming out. Coming out of eight swords, possibly. Give me something on this. It's a car to change. It's a car to change. Change for the better. What you got for Taurus? Love team. Ooh. That's a page of swords right there, man. I wonder if this is somebody that's had their eye on you the whole time. Possibly. Maybe they're waiting for the jailbreak. Maybe. Look at Six of Wands came behind that. That's a card of victory after the battle. Confidence in yourself um, and receiving the attention that you're worthy of. Look, here's an offer. Here's an offer. Hi, Taurus. Uh, I was just uh, strolling through this beautiful field right here, and I found this big golden coin, you know, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I love this. It's got the cherry blossoms up there. Good luck and good fortune. Somebody that's been watching you for a minute, huh? Gonna come uh, prancing in here in your life. They want to give you the attention that you're worthy of. That's what I'm reading right here, Taurus. Looks exciting to me. Looks like a cycle's ending around here for Taurus. Looks very, very positive. Oh, wow. An offer to the king or the queen of the world. Taurus back on your throne. Maybe a, bit, maybe a little bit of an age difference. I do see that sometimes when there's a page immediately followed by a king or a queen. Yeah, and you may know him. You may know him. You may not know him. Mm. That's a dance of change right there. That's how I see two of, two of Pentacles, Taurus. The Dance of Change also has that beautiful infinity symbol around there, don't it? That soulmate energy. It looks pretty lit up. It looks pretty lit up. Let's put that Two of Pentacles right there on this page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I don't put gender with my face card. You guys know that. This is, this is nice. So it seems to be building right here. Maybe by the summertime. Uh, let's see. Give me more on this for my Taurus babies. Tower on ten swords and six pinnacles. Yes, Taurus. Wow. And uh, continued forward movement. Rapid communication. Maybe, uh, you know, that's a great card. That's a positive card. Eight. Eight wands. Keep the zeros of love just showed up around here, Taurus. <laughs> hey, and the big old lit up kundalini type looking uh, infinity symbol right there. Ooh la 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 la. Wow, the magician is here. The magician is here. And the magician is the number one major arcana, huh? You can talk about new beginnings all around for you, Taurus. And then the lover. The lover just showed up. Hi, Taurus. Here's my car. <laughs> Taurus, looks to me like you're uh, leaving that old river of tears behind. Let's see, let's see what uh, Mystic Moon Oracle has to say, huh, Taurus? Give me some on this for my Taurus babies. Mystic Moon Oracle, please. And Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What we got? <laughs> now, uh, this fear card can be about, you know, being a little nervous about uh, doing a jailbreak. 
So I'm giggling right there, you know. Now the other side, the other side is the breakthrough right here, Taurus. Uh, you can kiss my donkey's tail. <laughs> we are out of here, Barney. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go, Taurus. Be bold. Be brave. Get on, get on your donkey right there. Show him that donkey tail, man. Give me some Taurus, my lovely, lovely Taurus. Oh wow, uh, that seems final right there. That that font says conclusion. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and put that key in there. Go ahead and put that key in there. Get on your donkey. Wow. Awakening. See, that would rock with this hair plant energy about learning a lot of life lessons. Take those life lessons with you. Take those life lessons with you. Awakening. To the sun. Oh, wow. The summer came out again. The summer came out again. Summertime when the living's easy. Wow. <laughs> and then this is my, uh, it says action. This is my Jonathan Livingston Siegel. I don't know if many of you know who they were. They, they wrote a little book back in the 80s. And uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, he was a seagull, but he didn't, he didn't believe he was a seagull. He thought he was an eagle. And uh, all his other little seagull buddies told him, no, no, you're a seagull, so you have to be a seagull. Uh, but uh, he, he thought he was an eagle, and so he started uh, acting like an eagle, you know, like flying up at 30,000 feet, you know, like eagles do. And eventually, uh, one day, uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull just flew into a whole new dimension. It's a fun little book. It's a fun little book. It's always what I, always what I see right there. I love that action for you, Taurus. Awakening, summertime, refocus, conclusion. Give me a love card here for my Taurus babies. Give me a, a love card for Taurus. 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 Wow, chemistry came out. Ooh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, chemistry over here. Let's put that over there by the sun, huh? Let's put that over there by the sun for my Taurus babies. Give me one. Give me one, Taurus, 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 all forgiving and learning. Well, that would go in the story, wouldn't it, with ten swords? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, um, forgiveness is mandatory. It's just mandatory. It's not for them, it's for you. We all know that, right? But I never, I never tell you to forget. I never tell you to forget. I tell you to take your wisdom. It's in the story right here. Take your wisdom with you into your new world, but you know, forgiveness is mandatory, ain't it? Give me a, uh, and sometimes it's just easier to forgive from a distance, ain't it? Stay right on over there. <laughs> I'm right on over here. I forgive you. Love and light, juices. Here's my donkey's tail. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, my Taurus baby. Could be a promise for some of you right here. I hope you have met somebody new. All I know is it says the days of ten swords are over with. Let's go. Let's go. Give me a major on here for Taurus, please. Oh, Freaking devil, man. Freaking devil came out, Taurus. Oh, damn it. Uh, you know, that's a pretty damn toxic energy. Ten swords, six pins, all that kind of stuff right there. Three cups, you know. Um, but this is somebody realizing that they had been stuck to something toxic for a season. And then it doesn't look like it's going to change at all. You know, you can see them having the awakening right there. I call that breaking the chains that bind. That's a lover's card. It's a lover's card upside down. It's 15. The devil. I, I see this, you know, there's an emperor right here. Um, I could say that with this reading as Taurus seated in your power these days. Because this emperor seems to have their back, male or female, to that toxic energy. They seem to have a new world in their hand. They've got the armor on because they've been in the battle. 
And they're looking at a new world right there, male or female. Uh, that, that's a four. He's about stability. He's also about abundance and prosperity. Oh, ten pins is on this. Okay. And one more Taurus. <laughs> uh, that's a chariot right there, Taurus. The other one was a hangman, you know, coming out of that old tree right there. And uh, moving in a new direction, leaving the past in the past, man. It's a beautiful card of victory. It's the uh, yin-yang ponies. It's uh, definitely moving towards a new world. Oh, wow, the lovers came out. There we go. There we go, Taurus. Oh, the lovers came out. Cherry to the lovers. Cherry to the lovers. Hasta la vista, devil. Sayonara. We got to go. Hey, Taurus. If you made it this part of the reading, thank you for your view. Appreciate that also very, very much, my friend. Um, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, Taurus, smash that subscription button right there. Ring my bell. Hit that I like mic button if you would. And uh, we'll pull some cards in a few short days. See what that cherry to the sun's all about. May our dreams come true, Taurus. Love and light. Bye for now. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it again, Virgo Babies. Virgo Babies. Let's see what's going on with my Virgo Licious. My Virgo Licious. My Virgo Licious. Alinta, hello my friend. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Enjoy the journey that we call life. All right, all right, all right. I like that, sis. Hello, sis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is that right, Veronica? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. Let's play some more cards in Virgo. My Virgo babies. My Virgo babies. Hey, Bumblebee. It's nice to see you tonight, my friend. Hope all is well in your world. Hope all is well, my friend. Missed you too. Glad to see you tonight. Hey, Leah. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's check them up for Virgos, huh? Roco, hola to you too, my friend. Virgos, my Virgo babies. My Virgo babies. I will be doing, uh, let's straight these cards out. I will be doing uh, personal readings this evening right, as soon as we're done with Earth Babies. Uh, if you want one, the easy way is smash that join button, become a member of Ramblin' Nation. You get a reading with me every time you uh, re-up your membership as a perk. The other way is a $9.99 super chat. U.S. dollars, please. I only take my payments for readings right here. In the YouTube Super Chat, $9.99 to get you about an 8 to 10 minute reading with me tonight. Or, of course, all my members always check and see if you've got a milestone marker. It's in that money button right there by that happy face. Just open that up, my members. See if you got your milestone marker available. Let's do it, man, Virgo. Hey, Sarah, nice to see you tonight. Thank you, Bumblebee. All my love to you, my friend. The answer is self-love. Hit it right on the head right there, sis. How many of you know this place ain't nothing but a big old mirror? 
And how many of you know the mirror ain't gonna smile until you smile? Anyway, it's all about self-love. Is that simple, Mike? I believe it is. I believe it is. All right, let's find out and see what's going on with my Virgo babies. Virgo love team. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, play some cards. Virgo style love team. What we got for my Virgilicious? Let's take a look and see what the tarot has to say. Hello, Virgo. Ramblin' Mike here. I play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Virgo friends. Appreciate you. You know I do. You know I do. I always want to say thanks for the many, many gifts that you blessed me with over the years, too, my Virgo friends. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very, very much. Appreciate you. I'm going to do uh, relationship spreads tonight. I have the heaven and earth. It's a powerful deck. I love this deck. I haven't played with it in a minute. I'm going to freestyle out of this. Relationships, homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. I do got some love cards, you know. I want to stick around for those if you're looking for a love story. Also going to freestyle with the old classic Witches Tarot tonight. Definitely one of my faves. And, uh, well, the Mystic Moon Oracle always got some fun cards as well. And we will top off your full spread tonight, Virgo, with a couple of major arcana from the Tarot Illuminati. All that being said... Let's rock and roll and play some tarot, Virgo style, Virgo style. What's going on, my lovely, lovely Virgos? Let's do it. Let's cut this deck. Oh, something jumped. As soon as I said, let's cut it. <laughs> it, it had a major arcana shoot, shoot out of there, Virgo. That's the fool card in this deck. Love that fool. Look amazing, Virgo. I love you. I love you. I love your outfit right there. You look great. And that's about a fresh start and a new beginning. It's um it's the first card in the major arcanas. Uh which can talk about, you know, starting, you know, the new journey, the new fool's journey in life and love. I love this card, and especially as an overall, you know. It's that old case of raw, so raw. Whatever it'll be, it'll be. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Virgo. Overall, it jumped with a fool card right there. Oh, yeah, six swords. Actually, three of them seem to have jumped out right here, Virgo. So, we got uh, six of swords from most seven of cups energy. Oh, well, Seven of Cups energy for me, you know. Uh, most of those cups up there are filled with ghouls and goblins, ghosters and toasters. You know what I'm talking about. It seems like one of them's all lit up, though. I wonder if that's yet to come. I wonder if that's where the fool's heading towards. Because we got six swords, see? Six swords. Says, uh, we had enough of the ghouls and the goblins, the ghosters and the toasters over there. For getting in the boat, I always call that the River of Sticks right there. And uh, what is that, Paradise Island over there? I would see that it's source. Come on, Virgo, we're going to get in the boat. Take our life lessons with us. Take, <laughs> take our life lessons with us. And uh, let's go on over to a new world over here. Overall, I see a new beginning for many, many, many of my Virgos. Oh, wow, this is your major arcana. Wow, oh, that's a hermit, ain't it? He's a, he has a little bit of quiet time about him, spending time with the divine. Um, he's also the guiding light. Uh huh. Look at this. Look at these pictures. Oh, Virgo, where are you going? 
<laughs> well, let's play some tarot around here and see if it tells us. See if it tells us what's going on. Oh. Wow. Well, you might be heading to the land where <laughs> you receive the attention that you're worthy of. That's six wands right there. And uh, well, Virgo, you know, boom, 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 just showed up around here, possibly. And Ace of Wands. Oh, look at what Source is leading you to. Oh, this is nice, man. Coming out, coming out of that place. Coming out of that place right there. That's eight swords, you know. Six swords trumps that, if you ask me. But uh, this is nice right here. Look at this, man. Every picture got a thousand words. Your major arcana. There's the old ace of wands and six of wands. Six of wands can be a committed relationship, if you ask me. A lot of people give that to four of wands. I give it to six of wands. Oh, a passionate new beginning. Jailbreak. Jailbreak. Fool card. Six of cups. Seven of cups. <laughs> okay. Give me some more right here, Virgo. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more what's going on, my Virgo babies. I like where Source is leading you to. A new beginning. Oh. Huh. That is a... Uh, I don't know. It, it can be about money, too. These are coins cards that showed up right here, so... If your money has been uh, a little bit challenged, because, you know, if we're running around with the wrong people, it's all vibrational. A lot of times you can just go get a bank statement and be like, oh my God, you are fired. Get the... <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway uh, this could talk about, this could talk about uh, an increase in money. For you, five pins, you know, we're leaving that, we're leaving that behind. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles is definitely, definitely a Virgo card, male or female. That's my Queen of the World, that's the catch. That's the catch right there. Source seems to be leading you out of a land of lack, or whatever the hell that's about, man. Into a new world of six wands and uh, well, Queen of Pentacles is the queen of the world. She's quite abundant. Nice, uh, nice breakthrough right here for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on, please. What's this Ace of Wands and Six of Wands about? Where is this? Where is Source leading my Queen of Pentacles to? I'm telling you, I'm pulling committed energy out here. That is the Hierophant. Wow. Good. Get in the boat, man. <laughs> Get in the boat. Oh, look. Here's the money it showed up, too. Wow. Ten of Pentacles after five Pentacles. So, you know, that's great stuff about a breakthrough in finances. Or somebody. Somebody grabbed that one right there. It's all about the fool right here. A new fool's journey for you, Virgo. Jailbreak, leaving the ghosters and the toasters behind. Source seems to have something here for you. Your, your major arcana uh, pointing at all of this right here. Let me hold these cards up. Source pointing at the Hierophant, pointing at the uh, Queen of Pentacles, pointing at the Ace of Wands. And pointing at six of wands. Yes. That's a nice promise. Oh, and there's money. There's money here, too. <laughs> this and that. Oh, the new fool's journey here for Virgo. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what Witch's Tarot has to say. I like it. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Post Eclipse, huh? Go. What do we got here for my Virgo babies? Jailbreak. Freedom. The Fool card. Getting in the Six of Swords boat. The Five Pins. The Ten Pins. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me some. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I have fun with Tarot. Who's that, Virgo? <laughs> 
Oh, this is my very independent, very self-assured, confident uh, Virgo right here, male or female. You look amazing. It's also a single card. You know, you can talk about cutting a lot of stuff out of your life. You can talk about cutting a lot of stuff out of your life, you know. There she is right there. Oh, look at that. Nine pins of ten pins. Nine pins of ten pins and the lovers. Ooh, Virgo. Virgo, I feel a new, 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 new. <laughs> oh, something really special. The hair pants, six wands, and the lovers now. Let me show you that one. Oh, I love this lover's card. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's put that right over there by that hair pant energy. Ace of Wands for the Queen of the World. Victory after the battle. Definitely nine pins and ten pins coming out of five pins. A lot of money there. A lot of love over here too, Virgo. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's a lover. <laughs> Hi, Virgo. Here's my cup. Oh, Lordy, man. This and that's on this spread. Hi, Virgo. Here's my cup. <laughs> I don't know. It looks new to me, man. Looks new to me, Virgo. I'm digging it. It's got beautiful energy on it. The, the hair pant and the lovers, you know, and and the hermit, you know, the one that uh, helps these two to find each other on Earth. Really nice, man. Let's see what else we got. Which is which is tarot? Which is tarot for my Virgos? Starting a new fool's journey is what it looks like to me. Oh, they're already, they're already telling us, you know, if you haven't let it go, let it go. Eight Cups is about walking away from things that ain't no longer serving you. That's been all up in this spread right here. And oh, my God. And uh, here's the old, <laughs> here is our Seven of Cups wizard in this deck. He's got his finger in our face. He's like, no. Came out after Eight Cups. He's like, now remember. The cup that you choose is the cup that you get. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do got a single energy right there. Heading towards the land of ten pinnacles in the spread. There is a lover coming in there with a cup to the lovers. I don't know. You know, it's pretty positive. It's pretty positive. Definitely talks about love coming in here for you. There they are right there. Let's shake them out. It's time to... Time to let it go and move forward. We're going to do a little spiritual energy around here for, for my Virgos. Are you with me? Here we go. Out, 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 out of Virgo's spread, out of Virgo's heart, out of Virgo's life. Seven of Wands. The Heroes card just came out. Back, you wild animals. Back. <laughs> We're out of here. This is my Heroes card. You know, it's a blocking energy. And it's also somebody that's, you know, decided to do what's best for them, choose a new path in life, and move forward. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. <laughs> They're going to do what's best for them. Give me one more right here, and then we're going to get uh, Mystic Moon Oracle out. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles came out again. Yeah, my catch, male or female. Definitely Virgo right there. And again, look at the money. Uh, seated in your throne. She knows how to manifest money. He knows how to manifest money. Beautiful doggy, loyalty. It just uh, just shows you who you are one more time, my Virgo friend. Oh, wow. And a little, maybe a little more than that. Because there's the sidekick right there. Oh, my goodness. The king and the queen of pentacles came out here with a love offer to the lovers. Oh, this feels new, and it feels, it could be long-term. Hairfant's already on here. Hairfant and the guiding of the divine on a new journey. This is gorgeous, man. It is absolutely gorgeous. Nine pins and ten pins, so. All right. Yay. Give me a card right here. Give me a card right here. Mystic Moon. Let's see what Mystic Moon says. For my Virgo babies. My Virgo babies. Off on a new fool's journey. Oh, look at this stuff, man. Contemplation. 
and settling. No, hell no. There's a fool right there. That's a fool before they jump off the cliff. No, no. I'm done with the settling stuff. This is nice energy right here, man. If you're looking for something long-term and committed, my Virgo friend. Looks like Source has got a plan for you. Go ahead. Jump off that cliff right there. Enough. Enough of the days of settling. Metamorphosis is under this. Uh, that's like the death card. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation for Virgo. <laughs> Virgo ain't settling no more, man. Oh, give me another one right here. Virgo. Virgo. What we got? Oh. Well, it shows me that, you know, um, I mean, it's talking about all these uh, three swords and all that. You know, patience, being stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck. Oh, hell no, man. These days are over. Give me more on this, please. Give me more on these. This is, a, this is breaking free right here. Eight swords, a fool. Six swords. A huge cycle change. Yeah, and look at this. Reinvention came out after that. Yes. Yes, Virgo. Reinvention came out after that. And metamorphosis. Oh, and the very powerful, the very powerful conclusion card. Well, the, the Virgo I'm reading for, man, we ain't going down the, you know, the cup that you choose is the cup that you get. Uh, we learned that. This is going up to the mountaintop. That's where we find source up there, your major arcana. A lot of healing, spending time with the divine. When you're ready to come down off the mountaintop, it's talking about uh, the king and queen of pentacles, the hierophant, the lovers, ace of wands, six of wands. So, why don't you love on yourself and healing yourself? Source has got something really, really special here for you. Those days are done, man. It's powerful eclipse right here. I gotta give this to a lot of eclipse energy right here. Post eclipse. Give me something from a Virgo, please. A love card. Oh, playfulness came out. Oh, damn, it's time to have some fun. Time to have some fun again, Virgo. Playfulness came out to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's what I'm talking about, Virgo. Give me one right here for Virgo, please. Playfulness. Time to have some fun again in life. The flirty flirt came out. <laughs> and to keep an open mind, because your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Soulmate energy just showed up around here. Different than your usual type. You know, the one the old wizard was telling us about right there, huh, Virgo? That old wise wizard right there. Oh, it's nice. Definitely got some energy right here. Um, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. And a, uh, wow, it's, uh, it's, you know, the Romance of a Lifetime card came out. The Romance of a Lifetime came out. Keep an open mind. Just so maybe different than your usual type. Conclusion of the day is the Seven of Cups. I can see that. You know, the ghosters and the coasters and the toasters, the ghouls and the goblins. Give me a major here for my lovely, lovely Virgos. Coming out of eight swords. Wow. But you seated on your throne again. Beautiful Empress just came out, my Virgos, male or female. She is a she is a Venus card. Venus is about love and abundance. She's always birthing a new world. She has, oh, she has that tree of life on her gown right there as well. Well, pulled Empress energy right after this uh, Romance of a Lifetime card. Oh, <laughs> okay. Virgo, Virgo. Wow, Injustice. That's beautiful. Uh, that is, um, 
karmic balance coming into your life. Uh, how I read that card, my Virgo friends, is the gods getting involved, weighing the conditions of people's hearts, the scales of people's hearts. And, uh, And the scales falling in your favor. Look what came out. Your majors are really, really fun. There's a hermit card again. And there's a world card about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. And that's how, you know, the fool works, right? This is the completion of a, of, of a cycle, the 22 majors. And this is a new beginning. For many, many, many of my Virgos, and we could also put the Hermit right here shining their lantern on justice and this beautiful Empress energy for you in a brand new world. Absolutely gorgeous spread for you, my friend. Um, if you went into this part of the video, thank you for your view. Appreciate that so very, very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button right there, Virgo. I'll ring my bell. Hit that old I like mic button if you would. And uh, we'll play some cards for a few short days. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the new fool's journey. Enjoy your new world. May all your dreams come true, Virgo. Love and light. Bye for now. A lot of change for the better. Many, many, many of my friends. You know. It's a... Uh, Hi, Divine. Nice to see you tonight. Welcome. Thank you, Sarah. Change for the eyes. Good. You know that's right, Bumblebee. You know that's right. That's what we're all about around here. If somebody don't know how to love on your right, we gotta go, man. We're out of here. Life's short, man. We ain't got all day to wait around on you to figure it out. No, we're out of here, man. We're on our own fool's journey around here. All right, my Capricorns. My lovely, lovely Cappies. My lovely, lovely Cappies. Capricorn, my lovely, lovely Capricorn. So let's see what's going on. Post the clips, huh? That old energy of the eclipse can hang around for a minute. Eclipses traditionally for me, they, they eclipse. That's what these reads have been about too. They eclipse people and places out of our lives very suddenly. And they can eclipse new people and places into our lives very suddenly as well. Let's fly high. Let's get some good stuff coming in around here, huh? Mountain Girl. Thank you, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. Uh, definitely going to pull some cards here for you in a little bit. If you'd like a reading with me, um, it's easily done. We're going to pull cards, live personal readings right after Capricorn. Um, smash that join button. Become a member of the nation. That's the best way. Or um, Mountain Girl. Mountain Girl uh, even brought it up a little bit more. That's a level three reading at least. Or I get over here into Oracle cards with her tonight. Or you can get you a reading for $9.99. That's about an eight or ten minute reading um, tonight as well. And of course, all my members always check and see if you got a milestone marker. You find that in the money button right there by that happy face. Go ahead and click it when you catch me live and see if you got your milestone marker available. Yes, I feel a great change in my life, too, um, after the eclipse. Always do. Always do. It's like, a, it's like a kick start in life sometimes, huh? Oh, Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee, you have great favor with me. I'll pull many cards for you. 
Many cards for you, my friend. A lot of cards. 33, 33. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be here for a minute. 15, 20 minute read at least. Hey, Katie. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's going on around here with Capricorn. Nice to see you tonight, too, my friend. All right. All right, let's take them up. Capricorn style. Capricorn Collective Love Team. Let's see what's going on with my Kappa Caps, my Kappa Rooskies. Kappa Rooskies. Capricorn Love Team. Capricorn. Let's rock and roll. Capricorn style. All right. Everything's in its place. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Capricorn. Grab the mic here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Cap Cap. Appreciate you. You know I do. I always want to take a minute of gratitude for your many, many gifts over the years. If you ever bless me in any way, shape, or form, Cap Cap, thank you so very much. Appreciate it all, large or small. I'm going to do relationship spreads with you. This is the heaven and earth tarot. I'm going to freestyle with that, Capricorn. also have the classic witch's tarot over here. I'm going to freestyle a little bit with that. I do got some love cards, even though these, these can be about relationships, homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. But, you know, I got a love card. You know me. And uh, a couple of the Mystic Moon Oracle. I love this Oracle deck. And we'll top off your full spread tonight uh, with a couple of Major Arcana uh, from the Terra Illuminati. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, Capricorn. What we got for Capricap, Cap, love team? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, looks like we're going to cut into this deck right here. Let's do it. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. Overall energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on? Capricorn, you, you pulled the fire pony. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Um, I say damn it because, you know, the fire pony, um, he's not, he's, well, uh, the fire pony, you know, <laughs> you know, they're good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, uh, but they may not have a whole lot of roots, you know. I would, I would see the fire pony as somebody that may come on over to your place and raid your refrigerator. Make a, make a sandwich, gobble that sandwich up, and they may be galloping out the door to go dig through somebody else's refrigerator. Make a sandwich somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? You got a dog on fire pony as your overall right here. Cap a cap. Cap a cap. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All oh, those old fire ponies, man. <sighs> Oh, it help us all with the fire pony. Let's go. What's going on? Cappy Cap. A magician, too. Wow. I was <laughs> a charming trickster. I got I to gotta do that when the magician comes up. Damn, look at him right there. Oh, Lordy. Hi, Capricorn. Oh, Lordy, you a little silver-tongued one. A little silver-tongued one. You know, I mean... You know, it's the magician and the fire pony. Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> um, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, possibly. Well, the old charming trickster showed up around here. Let's go, Capri Cap. Capri Cap. Capri Cap. What we got? What's going on around here? How come justice just came out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, justice just showed up on the Charming Trickster. Ooh, uh, that could be the sword shing right there, man, can it? 
you know, um, cause that's, this is a card for me. It's a major arcana about the gods getting involved and weighing the conditions of people's hearts, scale. Oh, the scale. Oh, look, you're pulling major arcanas right here on this fire pony. It's a big old strength card, Cap your Cap. Big Leo, big Libra, Gemini, um, Virgo, Aries. You pulled three major arcanas. Oh, Lord, it's strength. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Take the wheel. Take the wheel. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a lot of passion with that card right there. Um, but, you know, holding the energy back here a little bit. But the old charm and tricks, there's got to be a charm and tricks right here. It's a fire pony. It's a fire pony. This, see, there's justice in here, though. Is that you trying to keep everything in balance with a fire pony? Oh, Lord. Three major arcanas came out here. Cappy Cap. We all love the fire pony till they gallop off, you know. Let's go. Cap and cap. Majors. What we got around here? Wow. I said I said that uh, we always love them until they gallop off. And then Nine Pinnacles came out. Now, this could be a single card. There's some coins right there. This is my independent, self-assured confident <sighs> I mean I hope they're not after your money because I haven't seen I haven't seen any cups I've seen passion I've seen a charming trickster I've seen a fire pony and I've seen my Capricorn looking amazing over here now that is a single card as well. Anyway, a little more, please. A little more, man. We may be getting a, a, a little bit of red flags going on around here. Cappy Cap, Cappy Cap, what's going on? Five pins came out after that. I, you know, this is tarot. These are, I know we call them pinnacles these days, but these are cards of coins. I don't really like this at all, man. I don't like the old charming trickster right there. And justice. And strength. Nine of pins of five pins. Huh? Watch <laughs> watch your watch your wallet. <laughs> watch your wallet. I'm just saying, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, so what is this? It's that fire energy again. Two wands. This could be a forewarned, forearmed right here, man. Two wands. It's that fire energy again. You know, this is about, you know, looking at a new world. Oh, my God. And three swords right there. I'm shaking these out right here. Here we go. Here we go. Out, out, out of Capricorn's heart, out of Capricorn's life. This is definitely a forewarned, forearmed for somebody. Keep an eye on your wallet. Change your, <laughs> change your passwords, maybe. It is tarot right here for somebody. This is a fire pony, a charming trickster. Justice is right there. Strength is just like, uh, you know, some something, something's not right. Something's not right, even though there's a lot of passion. Then we got these doggone money cards right here, right? Nine of Pentacles, the Five Pentacles. And then it looks like the cut and run. Maybe. As well as somebody setting their intentions on a new world. And then we got that one. Then we got that one. Oh my God, and after that, I got five swords. Oh my knob, Cappy, you know. You know you know if you're resonating with this or not, man. It's time to change your passwords and everything else. This is a narcissist energy. 
Five Swords is my card about standing up and doing what's best for you. Putting yourself up in the front of the card of your life. And uh, doing what's best for you. Wow, there's a th oh man, who is this charming trickster around here, man? This damn three cups after five swords. Generally, I'm not that rough with three cups. It's supposed to be about a card of happiness and joy and bliss. But when we got a fire pony, the charming trickster, the heartbreaker, soul shaker right here, narcissist energy, five swords, nine pins to five pins, and you know. It's like they got a plan. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to get another deck out. I'm going to get another deck out around here for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. My Capricorns. Capri Cap. Capri Cap. All right. We're off to... <laughs> we're off to... We're off to the races here. It's a Scorpio card, another major arcana. About death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. Ending a cycle, ending a very painful cycle. Hopefully, huh? It's a death card. It's about transformational energy. I don't know, nine cups came out. Uh, making a wish, transformation, nine cups, that's a genie bottle just showed up. Hangman. Uh, hangman changes the way they think and they feel and they believe. Look at this, this is like Odin's crow up here. That's a new golden coin right there, Capricorn. Here's a new golden coin. I mean, it's definitely time for change in this story. Definitely time for change in this story. Whoever this is, whoever this is, can I say this right here? Another major arcana. And um, this, this, uh, this is the judgment card in the Witch's Tarot. And, uh, well, it does say karma on it. But death, birth, resurrection, major transformation over here for you. Got the pale rider. The pale rider is galloping away from the, the three of cups energy, five of swords energy, three of swords energy. Making a wish. This is about thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently. And coming out of a hangman's tree. Well, let's do that. With some kind of karma over here. You know, I got to point it out. There's a big old eclipse moon right there. Now, eclipses can eclipse people, places, and things out of our life very suddenly. And so it makes room for new people, places, and things to come into our life very suddenly. Definitely time for this energy to end. Oh, look at you, man. Okay, I said all that. All right, there's my cappy cap. Back large and in charge. Look at this, man. Coming out of the hangman's tree here in the near future. Making a wish. Spending time with the divine. Knowing what you do want. Because, you know, that's the only, you know, when we know what we don't want, that shows us what we do want. So don't be hard on yourself. This is resonating with you. Just get up and get on with yourself. These are very positive cards about coming out of the hangman tree with two nines. This says you completed a cycle to me. It says you completed a cycle and, and there's Odin's crow coming in with a golden coin. That would fit this story right here, nine pinnacles. That would make the ten pinnacles. Let's go. Let's go. Capricorn, I want this new energy right here. It's about a cycle ending. Oh, look at Six Cups energy came out on that. Um, I like Six Cups energy. Could be a could be a past life lover that might be showing up here for you in the near future. It is an energy of uh, sweetness. Um, it could be somebody you know in the three D as well, but justice is on here, so. 
I made nine pins and six cups after the hangman, and there is a new golden coin right there. Whew, it just keeps talking to me about ending this cycle right here and uh, changing your passwords. There's a new cup. There's a new cup that showed up. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. A new cup after, after you know, single, right? Healing, loving yourself. Nine, nine pins can talk about cutting a lot of things, people, places out of your life. You know, looking at looking at what makes you happy. Look at her looking at that ninth cup right there. You know, um, looking at what makes you happy. It's transformation to nine cups. Hangman out of the tree. Nine pinnacles. Six cups is a beautiful energy of uh, sweetness and love, especially when it's followed by an ace. Talks about new energy coming in here for you, Capricorn. Huh? <laughs> let's let's take a look at Mystic Moon Oracle right here. New, 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 new. That's what I'm rooting for around here. Death card, the Nine Cups, Hangman out of the tree, Odin's Crow bringing in a tenth, the, the, the Ace of Pentacles by Nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups to an Ace of Cups and Cycles. There's that Eclipse Moon again. Cycles. The Purge. You know, that's like ripping a Band-Aid off, you know, spiritually. Purging. Letting the past be in the past. Maybe you're completing some kind of karmic cycle. Release. Giving it to the gods. Capricorn. <laughs> the county jail just showed up. Uh, it does say third party on it, but it looks like county to me. Somebody over here, this old charming trickster. This old charming trickster in your thread. Ah. Uh, somebody may be even going to sing sing around here. Wouldn't surprise me with a charming trickster. I see you doing a major transformation in your life, heading towards nine cups, nine pinnacles, six cups, and a big beautiful ace cups. Somebody may be going to sing sing while you are healing. Healing. Lessons learned around here. You know, um, well, my daddy used to tell me, you know, he'd say, boy, mistakes are okay as long as you learn something from them. But if you didn't learn from a mistake, then all you did was make a mistake, boy, and that ain't good. Kept that one, huh? Lessons, guidance. From my Capricorn. High vibe, and here we go, man. Here we go, Cappy Cap. Look at this. This is sweet. This is what the tarot's predicting is coming in here for. Now, this is a card of self love as well. And a direct connect with the divine. This is a card of sweetness and bliss, happiness and joy, and possibly a, a possibly a past life lover, a soulmate coming in here from a high flying Capricorn. Give me a love card on this for Cappy Cap, please. Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, a love card, please. My high flying Cappy right here. A faith card came out. So we never want to lose our faith in the divine. We could say that, right? It's a faith card came out. This could be a faith reading for a Capricorn right now. That's the nice thing about tarot. It'll help you boost your faith. That's why I read the way that I read. I believe we create our own realities. Wow, this could be the one came out. Look at that. It does have a predictive energy here for you. 
this could be the one. And, and oh, and Six of Cups is here. It says some of you may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> oh, who do you? Hi, Capricorn. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Oh, the south side of heaven. How you doing? <laughs> I came from the south side of heaven, too. <laughs> now we got, now we got, keep an open mind, because your soul may, may be different than the usual type. Perfect. Perfect. Now huh? we got playfulness, too, Cappy Cap. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So we got a faith card. We got, uh, this could be the one, passion. Keep an open mind and playfulness came out here for you, Cap Cap. Give me a major on here for my Capricorn, huh? Give me a major on here for my Capricorn. Here we go, here we go. Cap Cap, Cap Cap. Oh, damn. Oh, the Emperor showed up. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, male or female, right? Let's see that. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. An Emperor just showed up. Uh, I don't know. Is it Daddy Big Bucks? <laughs> Mommy Big Bucks? <laughs> hey. hey. Anyway, that's a four. That's about stability, right? You know, I can I can say, you know, Capricorn seated in your power. I can, you know. And looking at a new world, there's the armor, been through the damn battle and all that. Anyway, that emperor showed up. Give me one more right here, Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, wow. What's the odds? We ain't playing odds. We're playing tarot. The empress came out. Oh, look at this right here. What you got coming in around here? Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Keep an open mind. <laughs> had an emperor and an empress as an overall Capricorn hey if you made it this part of the reading thank you so very much for your view appreciate it you know I do hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tower readers if I have smash that subscription button right there cap a cap ring my bell hit that I like mic button if you would and definitely it looks like we're going to be pulling some uh, cards in the, in the near future about this story right here. It seems to be unfolding for many, many, many of my Capricorns. May all your dreams come true, Capri Cap. Love and light. Bye for now. Wow. Love it when those two show up by each other, especially as an overall on the read. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm going to get on over here and put my list together, see who I'm reading here for tonight. Nine ninety nine super chat. Now I do put a limit at twenty. Let's see who's on the list already tonight. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, my friends. If you're gonna check out, hit that like button on the way out. Make sure you got that subscription button too, my lovelies. Thank you. Oh, it's Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Nice to see you tonight. You grabbed number one spot, my friend. Busted a year, too, Blanca. Wow, that went fast, didn't it? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. What you got tonight? A level two. Thank you, my friend, for 12 months of membership. Appreciate that. Number one spot tonight. This is my Veronica. Hi, Veronica. You got uh, spot number two tonight. Veronica Sierra. 
Thank you for hitting that button one more time, my friend. We got a level two for you tonight as well. And uh, oh, Bumblebee! Oh, you did grab a thirty-three, thirty-three. Oh, did you? Oh, that's massive! Congratulations, uh, Bumblebee! Oh, wow, that is amazing. Congratulations, my friend. We'll give you a nice full spread tonight. 15 or 20 minutes of tarot cards for my bumblebee. Thank you, bumblebee. Alisa, oh, Alisa hit 12 months tonight, too. Hello, my friend. A general reading about love, school, family, whatever comes up, you can, my Taurus friend. Thanks for a one-year membership. You're number four tonight, Alisa. Hi, Peacefully Me. Nice to see you tonight. Thanks for grabbing another reading with me. I love. And there's my mountain girl. Number six tonight, mountain girl. Thank you, mountain girl. That's at least a level three reading for you, my friend. Wonderful. Let me get back in my chat. I have a new tarot deck I'm gonna be playing with tonight. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got it the other day. I've been playing with it a little bit. Um, it's called the Tarot of the Sacred Kingdoms. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the Pale Rider. Um, here's the Ace of Wands. So I will be using this tonight to clarify the majors that we pull. It's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely looking forward to getting to know it. There's the hair pod right there. I can't, I don't know, the blue. Might have to move it around a little bit, but I like it. I wanted to play with it. I wanted to play with it. I'm excited to play with it tonight. Oh, here's our lovely lovers in here. So I will be using a new deck tonight to clarify. Again, it's called the Tarot of the Sacred Kingdom. It looks gorgeous to me. It looks spiritual. Looking forward to that tonight. Let's get the majors out around here. A couple of majors. The 22 Major Arcana. All right, all right, all right. I got a handful of them right here. Got a bunch of Oracle cards. It's another major, uh, one that I'm familiarizing myself with. I think it's called Ethereal. I'm not playing with that tonight, though. All right. Let's rock and roll, my lovelies, and have some fun around here tonight, huh?
Tarot Love Team. I have many of my friends and family here tonight to play a little bit of tarot, some personal cards for my friends. Major Arcana Thread Source, the 22, and then we're going to clarify with that beautiful deck, Sacred Kingdoms. So I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help all my friends seeing here what they need out of these tarot card readings tonight. Can't do this without you, love team. Appreciate you so very much, my guides. Let's have some fun with my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you again, love team. All right. Hi, Lulu. Nice to see you tonight. Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. <laughs> 27 days. All right. Soon, very soon, we're going to be pulling you some cards, huh, Rachel? Love it, my friend. It's Sandra. Hi, Sandra. All right, Blanca. Blanca, are you still in the house? If you are, what you thinking about tonight? We're going to do a major arcana spread, and we're going to play with this uh, Sacred Kingdoms from my Blanca. My Blanca. All right. Blanca, let's uh, play with the Terra Luminati here. Terra Luminati, level two read for Blanca. Blanca, what do we got? What do we got? Blanca. 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 Here we go. First card out. The moon came out. Now that is divine feminine energy. Um, for me, it's that smoky trail. You know, we need a little clarity. We need a little clarity around here. Um, is the sun shining over there in that new world? Um, let's see what's going on. I mean, it's divine feminine energy. It's about intuition, psychic abilities. You know, women's intuition is what that card is about right there. Give me something on this for my Blanca. My Blanca, let's get a little clarity around here, a little clarity. Oh, wait, uh, darling, we pulled a new world. We pulled a new world. That can be about you getting off an old smoky trail, whatever that's about, whoever that's about. Closing closing that door. Yeah. Uh, maybe that maybe you've been on that smoky trail for a while, uh, with the world card. It definitely talks about, you know, you seeing the world as your oyster. Definitely talks about a new cycle coming in here for you. It's a whole new world showed up around here. Uh, the world card has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. The moon card is traditionally Pisces, Cancer. Let's go. Show me this new world energy for my Blanca. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, the hair pad came out. Now, the hair pad can be about a lot of wisdom gained. A lot of wisdom gained from that old smoky trail right there, but you know, it is the hair fan when I be like, show me this new world energy. That's a spiritual energy, you know, it's also a committed committed energy. Definitely not the smoky trail. The Taurus just showed up right there. Big old hair fan, my friend. Take your wisdom with you. Let's go on to this new world right here. Here we go, here we go. And a pool card came out. There we go. About a fresh start, a new beginning. I wonder if there's a, well, you know, there's a pool. 
wonder if we're talking about a new friend showing up around here with hair bent energy. One could only hope. Wow, followed by a star, maybe. Maybe, man. The star puts out hellfire. The star manifests dreams coming true. Ah, oh, that's an Aquarius card. So is the Fool. The Fool is Aquarius Aries. And uh, the Hierophant is Taurus. A new world. And definitely getting off a of smoky trail right here. I love the star at the end of, you know, that's about dreams coming true. Okay. Let's see what uh, this beautiful tarot deck, Sacred Kingdoms, has to say. Sacred Kingdoms. What do you got for my Blanca right here? The moon to the world, a hierophant as a fool. I can be about jumping off the love cliff. Star energy is very beautiful, very healing. My dreams coming true. So, Blanca, give me some on that moon card, please. Oh, this card has extras in here, too. It's a beautiful block. It says the Celestial Weaver. Oh, wow. That's absolutely gorgeous. I would say you're getting off a smoky trail right here, my friend. Heading to a new world. They call you the Celestial Weaver. It has a couple of extra cards in here. Let's go. Give me some on that uh, wheel, please. Excuse me, the world. The world for my Celestial Weaver. Here we go. What we got? You pulled both of the special cards in this deck. That's a phoenix. Phoenix from its ashes. Look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous, darling. Celestial Weaver and the Phoenix. In case you guys are wondering what the special cards are in this deck, they're right there for my Blanca. The Phoenix for my Celestial Weaver on a new world. Let's go, let's go. Give me one. Give me one. The Four of Cups. Uh, you know, Four of Cups can be a, well, it can be a period of healing. Traditionally, they're sitting under the tree right there, and they're looking at the empty cups, and then there's that cup behind them, right? That cup that they don't see. That cup that they don't see. It's right there on the Hierophant right there in the New World, so. It's got Phoenix from its ashes, the Celestial Weaver coming off a smoky trail. Entering into a new world energy. Traditionally, Four Cups has a cup floating around. Give me another one. What do we got right here? Oh, darling, an emperor just showed up. Divine masculine energy on the uh, fool to the hierophant. Well, I like an emperor. I personally like an emperor myself. Wow. It's a nice card of justice. That's karmic balance that has showed up here. Two major arcanas. That's a Libra card. That's an Aries card. Four cups has that cup that we may not see yet. You're probably over here. It's a Phoenix energy. New world energy. I love this Emperor and Justice by the Fool and the Hierophant. Wow. There's a beautiful Ace of Wands. You know, that's about a passionate new beginning. Looks kind of magical to me. Oh, look at this Emperor looking at my, my Ace of Wands lovely right here. Well, that's fun. That's on the fool right there. 
to the star. Oh, look, it came out on the star. I love it. Oh. <laughs> they both look rather enlightened. Oh. Well, 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 well. Look at this. Look at this. That looks pretty sweet to me, huh? Give me a love card on this. Give me a love card on this. Sir Blanca. My phoenix. Doing the old celestial weave. The celestial weaver. What a fun duck. Give me one right here. Flirt. Getting to know each other. Oh my God. Flirt. Getting to know each other. And the romance of a lifetime. Lovely, lovely. All right. Four of Cups can talk about it. Just love it on yourself for a minute. All my love. Blanca. Well, that was fun. I think I'm going to play with that deck for a minute. It's gorgeous. Got some friends talking to me around here. Let me see. Let me see what's going on around here. Dream boldly. I dream boldly. Thank you, my friend. Okay, my friend, we got a level three for you tonight. Thank you. You're number seven, boldly. Nine tail fox. Hello, my friend. Thanks for smashing that button tonight. Nine tail fox. Let's, let's rock and roll again. Number 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 eight tonight. Thank you, my friend. Level three with you. Appreciate you so very, very much. Thanks for smashing that button. All right, we're with uh, Veronica Sierra and then my bumblebee. Veronica's number two, bumblebee's number three. There's my Veronica. There you are, my friend. You've got a level two with you tonight. What are you thinking about? Okay, my friend. Oh, all right, channel messages for you. I got your right turn. Nine tail fox. Okay, Veronica, let's do it then, let's play some tarot, we're about flying high around here, um, I grabbed uh, the new Palladini, the 22 from the new Palladini, yeah, we want the goodies, we want the good stuff. I want to take a look at the good stuff here from my Veronica, my Veronica, my Veronica. We're looking for the good stuff. Veronica, new Palladini, what we got? First card, here we go, Veronica. A new world. A new world, my lovely. 
Done with that old world right there. Uh, beautiful, maybe eclipse energy for you. The moon. The moon can talk about the cycles of the moon. A whole new world. Post eclipse. Veronica, we're looking for the good stuff. Tell me about that new world. Wow. Um, Gabriel just showed up around here with a rebirth card. Phoenix from its ashes. This can also be a card of the enlightenment. You know. The great awakening. We're always having an awakening in some arena of our life. The last judgment. You may have uh, made a final decision on something. Or somebody. Causing a rebirth energy to come in here. Epiphanies. Enlightenment. Greater understandings of the laws of the universe and how to use them correctly. Wow, possibly with a with a magician. Now this is my deliberate creator. This is the one that knows how to take the powers that create worlds and bring them right down here into their own world. It's my magician. Can't be about new beginnings all around because the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands in their hand, tuned in with Source. Who I like all this right here. New understandings, epiphanies, enlightenments, and, and the practicality of how to pull them down into your new world. Beautiful. Beautiful. What we got? I, I saw really nice cards. Um, and this is another one right here. It's the wheel of fortune. It's, it's the wheel of change for the better. It's an omen of good luck and good fortune in the tarot, especially in a major arcana. And the wheel spins around here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. These are nice cards. These are nice cards. Uh, rebirth, Phoenix from its ashes, magician energy to the wheel. Hmm. <laughs> um, well, we got the wheel spinning around here, and then I got some giggle cards came out because I got these two. That's that's the hermit. And uh, and temperance. I see this says the divine. And then there's our angelic host. And uh, they may have a plan here for you, my magician. <laughs> Seems to have to do with something about the sun. And maybe the lovers. Uh, <laughs> here comes the sun. But what I got around here most and foremost was, uh, well, Epiphany's Enlightenment. Um, there is a lover in this story, too. There is a lover in this story as well. We'll see what happens by the summertime, huh? Love that sun card for you. Love that sun card for you. So, there's a lover here. I don't know if you know him or you don't know him. You may. You're the magician, since you're manifesting the wheel spinning in your favor. And then we got co-creation with the divine. That's co-creation with the divine. Something about the lovers where the sun shines. Let's see what uh, Sacred Kingdoms has to say on this. For Veronica, my enlightened one, my magician, spinning the wheel around here, winner, winner. Give me some on that new world, please. New world. New world. Two of Wands. This could be a new energy. You know, Two of Wands. Traditionally, they're looking at a new world. She seems to be uh, walking through a big old lit up door right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. New world right there. Very nice. Give me something on the rebirth. Phoenix from its ashes, the Enlightenment card. What's that about? 
Oh. Three of swords. Okay, let's shake them out. Here we go. Let's get these out of here. We're, we're not taking these into our new world. Here we go. Out, out, out. Rebirth. A rebirth energy. Uh, I don't know, man. A lot of transformation right here. The pale rider showed himself to me. The death card. About death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation in your life. Now, it is um, retrograde energy. And I mean, I'm looking at these two cards right here. So, you know, somebody, <laughs> somebody's singing the blues around here. I don't think it's you. You got some kind of major transformation going on around here. Okay, give me something on this. Death card to the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, is it your slow pony? Is it? It could be. I mean, I've got some reconciliation cards here. If you want. Somebody's spending time with Source these days. That's the hermit right there. Who is it? Look at him. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, wheel, wheel, somebody, source of dealing with somebody in this story, yeah, uh-huh, <laughs> oh, about their wily ways, maybe, because <laughs> it's a freaking devil card right there, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, so there's a deal with somebody over here in your story, my friend. <laughs> out, out, out. <laughs> out, out, out. And the pale rider seems to be heading in a new direction, and so does my two of wander right here. Somebody, somebody be like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, help me change my ways. Is that what? what? Oh, damn, look what came out on the wheel. Hang on, man. This is eight swords. Oh, excuse me. Eight wands. <laughs> oh, that's eight wands in this deck. <laughs> I got something to say. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's quiet time with swords right now. Yeah. Yeah. Michael's mixing some cups. My magician. You can do whatever you want. You're the one large and in charge around here. Oh man. Look at this look at this old wounded warrior showing up around here. <laughs> That's nine wands. That's nine wands. I put it over here by the hermit and uh, three swords and the devil. Eight wands to nine wands. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. They don't want somebody to go out that big door right there. Uh uh. <laughs> I wish him the best, man. I wish him the best. Here we go, man. Here we go. So I'm on the hermit, temperance. My magician's up there by my lovers. Freaking hangman. Oh, my God, man. You know, look at him right there. Now, hangman is about thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently these days. You know, um, they may have actually, they may actually put the wall up to that old energy that, I don't know. The sun came out again. I don't know. The summertime. The summertime. Six of Wands. It's a card of victory after the battle. It's a card of confidence in yourself. It's a card of receiving the attention that you're worthy of. All right, my magician, you can manifest whatever you want, it says. I don't know, the cards look like Source is doing a work on somebody around here these days, huh? 
Give me a card. Give me a love card right here. Veronica. Veronica. Oh, the forgiving and learning came out. Well, uh, you know, forgiveness is mandatory. But I never tell you to forget. Keep your wisdom. Because it looks like somebody's going to bust a move here. Mm-hmm. And uh, trust is earned. Trust is earned. Don't forget that. Forgiving and learning. Trust is earned. And we did get this Romance of a Lifetime card right here. May our dreams come true, my friend. Love and Light by Veronica. Do you, do you, do you, do you. Find my love. My bumblebee. So nice to see you tonight, my friend. I had some people hollering at me over here. Let me check all that out, Bumblebee, before we pull you your cards. Who's that? My Carla. Hi, Carla. Okay. Carla. A level two. Looking at your Capricorn friend. Number nine tonight. This is my hummingbird. Oh, this is a blessing for Rachel. Okay, is that Rachel Ann? Hummingbird. Grab some for uh, Rachel, level two. And who's that right there? Christy Harlan. Hi, Christy. Nice to meet you. Not sure. I've read for you before. Um, okay. Christy, Harlan, wants to know, about the future with your friend. Wonderful. Thank you, Christy. You're number 11 tonight. That's a nice number. That's a nice number. We are on, we are on um, number three right now, Bumblebee. And uh, number four is Elisa. Number five is Peacefully Me. Number six is Mountain Girl. Number seven is Boldly. Number eight is Nine-Tailed Fox. Number nine is Carla C. Number 10 is Rachel. It must be my Rachel Thomas, huh? Rachel Thomas, number 10. And uh, number 11 is Christy Harlan. Hey, Bumblebee. Yes, happy birthday to you, my Aries friend.
Okay. Bumblebee, my Aries friend, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bumblebee. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Bumblebee. Let's see what the tarot has to say, my friend. For Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Not supposed to spread for Bumblebee tonight. Wow. <laughs> I guess we're playing. I guess we're playing around here. Wow, the huge transformation card came out. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation going on in your world. The butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Very nice, very nice. Coming out of those old challenging times right there. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Transformation, letting a bunch of stuff go. Oh, wow, here we go, man. And case the rah, sarah. Whatever will be, will be. Fool card. Got Gabriel's horn right there. You know, the old rebirth horn. You know. I don't know how the fool got it, but they got it in this deck right there. It's a rebirth. Fool. Fresh start. New beginning. Childlike innocence. Well. Don't surprise me, the high priestess just showed up. My priestess of the moon, my keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. She'd been down in Hades for a while. See? Huh? But I always see Persephone gets to come up and come out of Hades. She gets to go dance in the sun. Bumblebee, my priestess of the moon, bump of the board. Oh, magician showed up, man. Ooh, that's my delivery creator. Ooh, look at you, man. Wow, high priestess of the magician, a full card. Ooh, man, there is a rebirth energy here for you, too, man. There's Gabriel. There's Gabriel looking for the horn. <laughs> There's Gabriel looking for the horn. It's right over here, man. The fool's got it. Wow, my deliberate creator, my manifestor, positive thoughts and positive words. All new beginnings all around could be right here, Bumblebee. From a high priestess. Got to show you the sun. Here comes the sun. That, I told you Persephone gets to come up playing the sun. Magician energy. Looks like you're manifesting a whole new world. Phoenix from its ashes. Rebirth. Epiphanies. Enlightenment. Greater understandings. Of how to use, you know. The energies of the universe for your benefit. To the sun, darling. Bumblebee. A couple cards here for Bumblebee, please. Death to the fool. My high priestess to the magician. Rebirth to the sun. Bumblebee. Four of Swords came out. There we go. Four of Swords came out on that death card. So it could have been a time of quiet time, healing the heart and healing the mind, spending time with Swords, cutting things out of your life to no longer serve you for your highest good. Here we go. Some to the Fool, please. Wow, that death card came out on that fool. About death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. Major change in your life, my friend. 
and a knight, a knight, uh, this is a knight of swords. That's looking at me. Now the knight of swords, um, they get up and they go. They move forward. They got victory on their mind. The pale rider to the knight of swords on the fool card. Here we go, man. Here we go. We're up. We're off. Fresh start, a new beginning, new energy, feeling good about life. It's something on my very special high priestess right here. Bumblebee. A major arcana for you. Justice. That's about things balancing out for you, my friend. The gods getting involved. Weighing the conditions of people's hearts and the scales falling in your favor, my high priestess. Then to the magician, my manifester. Oh. It's the magician in this deck. Let's pull another one right here, my magician. I like your book. What are you reading? <laughs> oh, 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 it's Herifat. Look at you, man. Wow, look at this deck. Man. I love this Herifat right here, right? Um, great wisdom, great spirituality. Um, the teacher, the healer. Oh, look at you, Bumblebee. Look at you, man. Okay. Okay, there's a rebirth right there. Gabriel came to get his horn. What's judgment about? Oh. Uh, I don't know, you'll have to read this in yourself right here. Uh, King of... King of Fire showed up. The King of Wands on uh, Judgment. Hmm. Hmm. Justice is already here. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Whatever that's about. <laughs> Give me something on your son, please. Give me something on your son. Ten wands came out on that sun. Um, and this king right here on judgment. I don't think you're going to be playing with that king. If you know that king, I don't think you're going to be playing with that king. That's what the tarot would say. That's a heavy load. The judgment call may have been made about all these death cards back here. Knight of Swords moves, man. They got to go to double magician in Hierophant. I see you just focusing on yourself. Studying too. Look at this. Look at this page right here. It's a page of pinnacles. You know, studying about things that make money. That's nice. You ain't picking up no heavy burdens. Look what came out on the sun though. Yeah, it's ten cups. You know, that's about happy days. Once upon a time, there's Bumblebee. She lived happily ever after. There may be somebody that comes into your life, but with double magician and this beautiful hair pan, it says you're good. There may be some kind of return attempt right here. I don't know, this King of Wands. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to do with them. Because uh, Ten Wands came out after that. Um, four Swords and all that. Um... There may be a new friend for you with Ten Cups on the Sun. Anyway, that's a very blissful energy right there, Bumblebee. I see you just loving on yourself for a minute, healing yourself. Let's see what healing with the fairies has to say. Healing with the fairies. Yeah, okay. All will be revealed. It could very much be the sun on, the sun on all that. Okay, you know tarot. 
You, you know what source is saying to you. I like this for you. It says, honoring your true feelings. That's a beautiful place. Honoring your true feelings. Give me more for Bumblebee, please. Ten cups on the sun, darling. Standing your ground. Double death card over here. Four swords as well. Doing what's best for you. Putting yourself first and foremost in your life and in your world. It's very powerful. It seems to lead to ten cups in the sun. Quiet time with source. That's that's uh, absolutely. I mean, not, that ain't nothing new for the high priestess. Or this beautiful hair fan right here. Wow. Peace of mind. And look at this right here with ten cups on the sun. That's a happy ever after. That's a happy ever after with ten cups of the sun. Peace of mind, quiet time, honoring your true feelings and standing your ground. Perfect. Let's see what Goddess Guidance has to say. Goddess Guidance. Goddess Guidance. Golden opportunities, Bumblebee. I want you just doing you right now. Look at her, man. Peace of mind and golden opportunities. It says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Of course, it caused you the high priestess again, didn't it? Um, it says you have divine knowledge that can help others with your spiritual teachings. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at that hair fan right there. Is. Here we go. Yeah. Divine knowledge. You can help others through your spiritual teachings. Um, this is a card right here about uh, focus intentions. Keep your eye on the target right there. Focused intentions. And you know, these double death cards over here and four swords. I mean, Kali wanted to say hi to you. I love Kali. Kali. Kali helps clean up things that don't belong in our life anymore. Thank you, Kali. Um, the old must be released so that the new can enter. Kali's great with all that, huh, Bumblebee? I'm going to share that goddess with you. You got Kali. Kali, opening up new golden doors of opportunity. Let's, uh, these are, uh, the, uh, oh, I don't even know the name of this thing. It's that moon oracle. It's that moon oracle. Moon magic. I don't know. Y'all know it. We all know it. We all love it. It's that moon one right there. Let's see what it says. A bumblebee. Time for healing. I um, can't really see these. I'll try and show them to you. Time for healing. Time for healing, the balsamic moon. Under that is uh, looking at the bigger picture. The full moon in Sagittarius. Time for healing, looking at the bigger picture. Expect powerful change with an eclipse moon right there. Nice stuff, man. Expect powerful change, looking at the bigger picture. Time for healing. There was a king of wands that showed up over here. Your call looks like in the near future, but right now. Um, you and your loved ones are safe. That's always a special card. Uh, time for healing. Looking at the bigger picture. Expect powerful change. You and your loved ones are divinely protected and safe. 
Damn, I'll take that one. Just any card. I'll take that one. Now, I'm going to pull your love card right here. Because there's a king right there. There's a king right there. He showed up in your thread. You don't need that king. I'll tell you, you don't need that king to have your happy ever after. You were heading on your happy ever after anyway. But you know me. I mean, I got a hair fan here and I got a king that showed up. I see you studying right there. I love that page. I love that page of Pentacles. I'm studying. Give me a love card on this. Bumblebee. Oh, shit, man. You shut some shit down. Standing your ground. Um, you shut something down. So, beautiful. You, uh, you've transmuted energy. You transmuted very painful energy and you transmuted it into very powerful energy for you and your future right here. This is the flirt card. <laughs> There's a flirt card right there. By the way. <laughs> there we go. One more for Bumblebee. Loving yourself first. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You know, and it's got some people playing Kissy Face right there. It does. Um, but very powerful transmutation of energy, my friend. Uh, you pulled all that negative, painful energy, and you transmuted it into power and a new beginning for yourself, my high priestess. Says, you're, says you got ten of cups on, on, on the sun and the happy ever after here, so... Oh, my love. Oh, my love, Bumblebee. May all your dreams come true. Okay. Oh, is that right, Bumblebee? Okay. Okay. Let's do it again. That's my Elsa. Elsa is up tonight. Elsa wants some love cards. Elsa wants some love cards. I'm going to check and see what's going on real quick, Elsa. See if somebody's on my list that I ain't written their name down yet. And there they are right there. It's shelves. Hi, shelves. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. Thank you for 16 months of membership, shelves. You're in spot number 12. Level 2 reading. Thank you, my friend. Number 12, shelves. And we are on number 4, Elsa. And number 5 is Peacefully Me. Looking for Elsa. Got a movie spread for you, my friend. Says you want to take a look at love. I'll play with a love deck right here. Thank you, Bumblebee. Elsa, looking for the good stuff, love and family, money, um, if you're talking about this, uh, Nine Tails. If you're talking about this new deck that I'm playing with tonight, it's called Tarot of the Sacred Kingdoms. It's gorgeous, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun getting to know that one, I do believe. Alright, I wanna focus right here on my Elsa. 
Elsa, 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 yeah, Elsa, Elsa, first card out, here we go, wow, judgment came out, that's a beautiful looking card right there, my friend, um, it's, it's judgment, it can be a rebirth energy, it's got the gods and the goddesses in this picture right here. They, they handed out some some thrones, some crowns to a, a loving couple right there. And they got some people celebrating over there too. It's a beautiful rebirth energy. I like all that. I like all that. Elsa, very positive card. <laughs> Oh, oh, it has been a challenging time. Ah, uh, damn it. How come we got, how come we got, we got judgment. And then a freaking devil showed up and a tower. Oh, Lordy, man down, woman down. Oh, judgment. Well, that, that changes the flavor of that card right there a little bit, huh? With the old devil right there. And a tower. Okay. Having a tower recently. That's probably why you want to look at love and family. Yeah. There's a hair fan right there. Love and family. Okay. Elsa. Elsa. Well, the hair fan wanted to stay on the board. I tried to put him away, but he wouldn't go away. He wanted to stay on the board right here. That is a rebirth energy right there. There's some trouble in paradise right here. But hair fan insisted on staying on the board. What else we got? What else we got? Um, it's the sun. And it's the moon. That's divine masculine and divine feminine energy right there. With that hair that insisted on staying on the board. There may be some troubles these days, you know. Um, well, I do see change, if this is what you're interested in. Change for the better. Change for the better. There's the wheel. There's the wheel of the return, the wheel of destiny. The wheel of change for the better with the sun and the moon. And there is a very beautiful uh, empress energy, Venus. Love and abundance. Um, I see a beautiful shift in energy right here, if that's what you were looking at. A rebirth, a rekindling. May have made a judgment call for right now. Maybe somebody needs a little time out. But the Hierophant stayed on the board, followed by the sun and the moon. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. With the Wheel of Fortune to my lovely Empress, Venus, love and abundance. So let's look at the love card right here. I see restoration, if this is what you're interested in, with the sun and the moon. A love card, Elsa. Staying optimistic about your love life. I felt you. I felt you right here, kid. So if this is what you're interested in, it's a nice faith spread for you. You can save it and come back and look at it anytime you want. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. Give me one more. Elsa. 
Elsa. Making the effort. Making the effort. It's got a little boy kissing my little sugar baby on the face right there. And it calls this great love. It says great loves are taking the steps you're guided to take. And oh, true love's there too. <laughs> true love's there too. <laughs> all my love, my friend. All my love. May all your dreams come true. Love and light, Elsa. Peacefully me. Peacefully me is up. Peacefully me wants the love spread tonight. All right, let's do it then. Peacefully me. Peacefully me is number five. And Mountain Girl is number six. Peacefully me, level two read. Okay. Peacefully me, let's play with Victorian Romantic. And then we'll play with that beautiful... Uh, Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms. And yes, that uh, Moon Oracle, yeah, that's what it's called, the Moon Oracle. I need to get the full size one of that. That I do. Maybe I'll order it tonight after this show. I need it on this table. It's a great Oracle deck. Here we go. Here we go. Peacefully Me wants a love story. Peacefully Me. First card out. Tower. <laughs> Tower. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Man down, possibly. Aisle nine. We need a little cleanup crew over there. Change. The old, the old tower card of change. Wow, followed by a fool card right here. Followed by a fool card. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, that fool card, it seems to be jumping towards this tower right here. Just saying. It is, uh, it is retrograde energy right now. Maybe somebody wants to clean up aisle nine on their own right here. That's a fool. That's a fool. A fool. I call him a sacred clown right there. Something about the lovers. Something about the lovers. It's a story about the lovers right here. Oh, Lordy. You know, that can be about a choice, you know. Do we want the fool come jumping back in here or not? Seems to be a story about an emperor. Seems to be a story about an emperor right here. I don't know. They're looking at the magician, though, in this deck. You know. As above, so below. As within, so without. I got a story around here about an emperor. They may be this fool right here. Oh, I see my lovers right here. I see my lovers right here. There's Hangman right there, Hangwoman. And, uh, I don't know, you know, in the indication of these cards, nobody's really happy about a tower. <laughs> Looks like the Emperor is studying the magician, though. Hangman or Hangwoman is about people thinking differently, acting differently, and feeling differently. One more major. Justice came out, which can be the balancing of karma between some people that had some tower over here. And it is retrograde energy. And uh, I got I got an emperor. Looks like they're gonna take looks like a, looks like they're gonna jump towards a lover here. Looks like they're gonna jump towards a lover. Peacefully me.
Sacred Kingdom. What do you got to say on this right here? Show me something about that tower. Tower. The Beautiful World card came out. Let me get that right. There we go. The World card came out. Which can be about an old cycle ending, so a new cycle can begin. I don't know, with my lovers. I'm just reading tarot right here. Don't look like either one of them are happy about this tower. Give me some on that fool, please. That is Aquarius Aries, Major Arcana. The Sacred Clown. The Sacred Clown. Tell me about that fool. Wow, justice came out on them. Justice came out on them. Two major arcanas out of the full deck right here. The world and justice. It can be about somebody wanting to balance things out. Maybe they've been thinking about themselves. The lovers, please, because that can be about a choice. Do we want to play with them or not? Page of Pentacles, that's an offer. That's an offer and a love spread for me. That's somebody that's been thinking a whole hell of a lot about what they're going to say. It is a FaceTime meetup card for me in the 3D. Maybe a coffee date. Maybe some sushi. You know. There's something on this magician listening. Excuse me. The emperor listening to the magician right here. The tower. This emperor right here, can't think about nothing. Let me get it right. There we go. Can't think about nothing but the tower. Fool energy. Making a plan. Going to get every word right. I don't know. Six of cops on my hang. Well, it says hangman. Six of cups. It's return energy. Really, I'd say both of these people got sweet thoughts and nostalgia. When times are good and things are sweet with them. Justice has showed up here twice. Justice has showed up here twice after a hermit, after quiet time. Quiet time. And I got, you know, I could say that source involved in this too. Quiet time, six of cups. I'm telling you, these are who's thinking about who here, huh? Both these people think about each other. Sweet, sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. I got justice on here. Give me some of justice. You know, I love this justice card because it shows the devil has to leave. And then it shows my beautiful doves over here and a beautiful peaceful sword. But the devil, the devil has to leave. <laughs> and look at that. That's the angel of the middle way right here. It's temperance. It's the angel of the middle way. You know, Michael's showing up around here. All my love, you two. All my love. <laughs> All my love. Give me a love card on here, please. A love card for Peacefully Me. The angel. The angel of the middle way. And, and the diviner on this. Um, you know, it's the, uh, you may have already met the romantic partner that you seek card. 
Oh, the old forgiving and learning and the old classic keep an open mind <laughs> and playfulness. All my love, peaceful in me. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. And this brings me to Mountain Girl. Mountain Girl. Oh, let me see if somebody else holler at me. What's going on around here? Hey, Cosmic. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. Wayfinder in the house. Hello. Oh, it's Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, all right. Wonderful, my friend. Thanks for hitting that button one more time. Hoo hoo! <laughs> I got you right here. It's Jenny. You are blessed number 13 tonight, my friend. And we are on number six right now, Mountain Girl. Followed by my friend, Boldly. Who is number seven. Oh, you're so welcome, Elsa. May all your dreams come true, my friend. I felt, I, there's a lot of love in that perspective right there, man. Those two lovers, anyway. Wayfinder. Oh, it's Natty. Hi, Natty. Want to look at a new job offer. Okay. Okay. I like Wayfinder. That's a great name. All right, my Natty. I'm going to call you Wayfinder. I like it. Level two with you tonight. And um, looking at a new job offer. And you are number 14 tonight. Wayfinder. All right. Mountain girl. Hey, Mountain Girl, if you're still in the house, maybe what you'd like to look at tonight. We've got a level three reading for you. Thank you, Jenny. I'm feeling good. Hope you are, too. All right, Mountain Girl. Let's have some fun playing tarot around here. Mountain Girl, I grabbed um, Elemental Wisdom's Major Arcana. Mountain Girl. Mountain Girl. Mountain Girl. There's my Mountain Girl. Oh, okay. Oh, you got money on the mind. <laughs> yeah. Money and love. <laughs> These are these are modern day hieroglyphics and says you want you want justice in money and love. Okay. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, my friend. I love our modern day hieroglyphics. Here we go. Here we go. We want justice. We want money. We want love. Let's go, mountain girl. Mountain girl, here we go. First card out. Judgment showed up. That is a card of um, enlightenment. You know, it's the it's really the major arcana of, of the awakening, enlightenment. 
understanding the laws of the universe so you can apply them to your life. It's also, you know, rebirth. Um, it's Gabriel. The card of Gabriel. Judgment. It's a beautiful card. Mountain girl. Mountain girl. Oh, and the fool. The fool's got Gabriel's horn right there. Wow, that's rebirth and a fresh start and a new beginning. It's a restart button, maybe on life. Very nice, very exciting card to be honest with you, Mountain Girl. A little more of a Mountain Girl, please. Oh, wow, to the magician. You know, that's about manifesting. Um, learning to manifest. This is my deliberate creator right there. They have the golden coin right there. They also have that Ace of Cups right there. They got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. You know, as above, so below. As within, so without. Very powerful cards about you manifesting what you want. Yeah, it goes zero. Look, it goes 20 to the zero to the one. So definitely a new journey on the, uh, you know, uh, on the fool's journey of life right here. Great start, man. Um, the magician, rebirth, Phoenix from its ashes. Wow, did I say that? Phoenix from its ashes. Hmm. For you. The Empress seated on her throne. Venus, love and abundance. Wow. Wow. And a, a wheel of fortune with a big coin on it, by the way. The wheel. An omen of good luck and good fortune. The wheel's spinning around here. Closing out an old cycle. Perfect. Entering into a new cycle of abundance. For my Empress, Venus. Love and abundance. Love and money are on here, my friend. Plus spirituality. Greater awakenings and greater understandings about the laws of the universe. Give me some on judgment right here, Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> Looks like you grabbed Gabriel's horn right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Give me some on uh, judgment, please. The rebirth, Phoenix from its ashes. All that blissfulness, the great awakening. This is Six of Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles for me many times can be an entrepreneur energy. I mean, the Pentacles are about money, honey. Elsa says you ain't going to be playing with no breadcrumbers, but she's looking towards the future right there. She's looking towards the future. That is an entrepreneur energy, my friend. You got some entrepreneur things going on? Give me some on that fool card, please. Fool card. Yeah, I feel it coming too right here, man. What is this? That's the Knight of Wands. Well, this is my great adventurer card. Look at that thing. You're definitely going forward in life. It's the Knight of Wands. It's my great adventure on the fool card right there with Six of Pentacles. Ooh. That's actually exciting. There's some on this magician right here. Magician, fool to the magician. Wow, a new world just showed up. Really excited about your cards. 
It's, it talks about the completion of a karmic cycle and a new cycle beginning. Very positive, very nice. Uh, passion involved in it, maybe entrepreneurship, coins, great adventure on the fool card, the world card on the magician, the world card to the number one. Give me some on my empress right here, please. Give me some on my empress. This is uh, six swords in this deck. And, uh, well, that's that ship that takes us out of that old, you know, this is the one that crosses the old river of sticks right here. Oh, man, you got, a, <laughs> you got a bunch of friends on that boat right there. Six of swords, I always call it as heading towards Paradise Island, right? Heading towards a new world right here. Leaving the past in the past. It's absolutely gorgeous. Give me some on here. Six of Swords on the Empress. Gorgeous, man. It's all heading towards this Wheel of Fortune right here. Ooh, an Ace of Swords. Look at this, man. Love this deck. Look at this Ace of Swords. She got her eye on the Divine. And again, this is cards about epiphanies and enlightenment. It is a card of victory. It is a card of a new beginning. Ooh, man, this is gorgeous, man. Now give me some on that Wheel of Fortune, please. The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands on the Fool, the World card on the Magician, Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords on my Empress. It's all about new beginnings for you, my friend. Coming out of choppy times, choppy waters. Oh, this is my Muse card right here. I'm going to pull you another one, too. It's my Muse. Look at this very creative energy that's showing up here for you. It's the, That's the Page of Cups. Um, it's my Muse, right? Give me one more right here. Very, very gifted, very talented. You got some giftings, man. You do. Uh, to the Queen of Cups. Ooh, what's that about? The Page of Cups to the Queen of Cups. This is my... This is my empath right here. This is my, my dreamer, my healer. Psychic abilities. Look at all this, man. You know, I can talk about uh, esoteric gifts. Uh, uh, turning very profitable. I, very, very profitable. Look at this, man. Wow, when I said very profitable. Uh, Eight of Wands came out. Boom! Boom, there you are. Jumping into your new world right there, man. Trusting in the divine. Getting in that boat. New world energy. For my queen of love, my muse. Bam, love that eight of wands right there. Let's pull a couple of goddess guidance for you, my friend. Let's see what goddess guidance, this is breakthrough. Breakthrough in the land of coins. Maybe love right here too, with those two love cards at the end. Definitely, definitely. Let me show you this eight of wands again. You know, go get them, man. Go get it. Go get what's yours, man. Bam, that's a beautiful card right there on that wheel. Okay. Mountain Girl. Mountain Girl, really powerful energy on this spread. Oh, yeah, man. There may be a lover coming in here for you. Whoa, because uh, <laughs> Pele just showed up. <laughs> Pele just showed up over here. Well, there may be love story coming in here for you, too. But Coins first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, the magician's manifesting all of it, man. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and the, and, and the Hathor came out, my coins card. Oh, honey, you got love and money showed up around here. Divine Passion and Hathor. There you are right there, Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Um, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Hathar is about get your receivers out. She's about coins. Of course, Pele is about, you know, passion. 
All my love, Aphrodite. All my love. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Well, that's fun. I'm enjoying this new deck. It's gorgeous. It's fun. It's got a little bit of new flavor. A little bit of new flavor to savor. And this brings me to my boldly. My boldly. Boldly's number seven. And uh, Nine Tail Fox is number eight. My lovely Boldy. This deck right here, Boldy, um, I grabbed it the other night on, on Amazon. Um, it's called The Tarot of the Sacred Kingdoms. Uh, I'm going to be playing with it a lot. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got some fun pictures. Every deck's got a little bit of flavor with it, a little bit of its own flavor. I like this one. It feels good tonight. Yeah, it, it wasn't... It wasn't, you know, but I mean, I, I make my living off of tarot myself, you know, I do. So with an expensive deck, if it's, if it's calling to me on Amazon or wherever I'm looking at it in a bookstore or wherever, you know, even $50 is, it's less than a dollar a card. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, right? It's less than a dollar a card. So <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Takes seven or eight of them to get a cup of coffee anymore. You know what I'm saying? I think it was worth every penny that I paid for it so far. I, I'm enjoying it. Hope you are too. All right. Boldly. Let's have some fun with you tonight, my friend. Boldly, my lovely, lovely. Bold dreamer. I got the uh, Starman right here. I grabbed Starman. Let's see what Starman has to say. Yeah, yeah. All right. I dream boldly. Starman. What we got from my Pisces friend? First card out boldly. Here we go. Temperance. Michael showed up here for you in your major arcana poll. He is my, you know, I, I put on him any more. Um, The art of allowance, learning to allow nothing but the best into our lives, people, places, and things. It does have a soulmate energy on this, of course. It is temperance. It is um, spending time with the divine, allowing things to unfold. The lovers showed up. The lovers showed up boldly by temperance. Uh, Michael's working on something around here these days, I would say, you know. My lovers, these are beautiful lovers right here. You know this deck, I've played with it before with you. Those are gorgeous lovers. You see them in the heavenlies, you see them in the waters. What's going on around here? What's going on around here? Mm, the devil may have got involved in the situation, huh? Well, we just cast the devil out. Get out. Get gone, devil. I saw the damn devil right there. Boldly. 
Boldly. Wow. It's my manifester, Boldly. You know, look at every ground, every step you take, man, you take that ground. Kind of looking like temperance over here, ain't it? Kind of looking like temperance. That's my deliberate creator. That's co-creation with the divine. About the lovers. Yes, it is, my friend. <laughs> of course, it shows you right here, my high priestess. All my love. All my love. Um, I say that because, you know, she may be she may be in the still place right now. All that heart chakra, you know, it's a Pisces card too, ain't it? It's uh, it's my high priestess, the priestess of the moon, the keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. They, all these cards have their arms out like this. Except the lovers, they have their arms wrapped around each other. Give me some more on this. Give me some more on this for my... I'm boldly... My Pisces friend, my magician, my magician. Hmm. Pulled the new world out on that. Last card out about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Maybe with these lovers right here, man. Maybe with these lovers right here. I don't know. I would see. I would see a beautiful energy for you. You know. There's a Pisces card right there. That's the hangman in this deck. And uh, this oh, uh, they're getting blasted out of the old um, hangman tree. But hangman is about thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently. Shows you back on your throne here, possibly in the near future. This is my Empress, Venus, love and abundance, and the sun came out. And the sun came out, my friend. So let's see what this, uh, anyway. You know, my magician, you're amazing. You're amazing, my high priestess. I saw a hangman coming out of the tree here in the near future. I see the sun shining on my empress. Give me some on temperance right here. Temperance for boldly. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. The nine of wands. That's a powerful looking nine of wands right there. That's, you know, that, that nine of wander, they're going forward right there. They're letting the past be in the past. I got my lovers. I got another Pisces card right here. The moon. Uh, this, this, uh, Nine of Wands, man, they're, they're moving towards, uh, my Pisces. It's like, um, I don't know, can I say, uh, through thick or thin, these two, these two lovers right here, maybe the Magician and the High Priestess, I always see them as a nice couple now that I'm looking at all this. Through thick and thin, I would say these two, man. Yeah, that's nice. It's nine cups. Through thick and thin, my lovers are right there. Nine cups, you know. I, you know, that's my ring each other's bells and all that. It's someone that's powerful magician that's right here. It says, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Empress to the Sun. Yeah, these are my lovers. These are my lovers. <laughs> 
These are my lovers. There they are right there. There they are right there, as above, so below, on that magician card right there. Through thick or thin, these two. They keep going forward. Magician, high priestess. I always like that couple. Oh, yeah. The emperor came out on um, when I talk about the magician and the high priestess. And the lovers. And he's staring. He's staring right here at his high priestess. It's a nice story. It's a nice story of through thick or thin, man. It is. It's gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm giggling. <laughs> I'm giggling here because I see that emperor looking at that high priestess, you know, the lovers on the magician, and then, and then, you know, there's an ace of wands right there. Yeah. Oh. Who do you? Who do you? Do you think or then? Who do you? All right. All right. Give me some of my empress to the sun, please, and your best friend. I see it. It's nice. And I get these cards with you and your lover regularly. You guys need to write a book. You really do. Yeah, look at Ten Cups. You can't make this up, man. You do two out dancing, celebrating life. Huh? Ten Cups on the Empress and the Sun. It's just like, I don't know. It says it's going to continue to get better and better and better with you two. There's a new world energy on this here for you as well, man. So that's definitely the increase. Oh, wow. When I said there's definitely the increase, look what came out here, man. Ten of Pentacles came out right there. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles came out there on that new world. Ooh la la. <laughs> Hey, man, Ten of Cups and Ten Pentacles came out. These two just keep on keeping on around here with each other, man. Thick or thin, they go forward. Let's play with... Um, Goddess Guidance, see what it has to say boldly. Yeah, very nice, man. The, the, I mean, the Empress is Venus, and the Emperor is here as well. The Emperor is here as well. There's an Ace of Wands. I love that, man. With my lovers. And uh, Ten Cups, Ten Pentacles, the Empress to the Sun. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Give me one boldly. Wonderful. Um, bodies of Water, that's a High Priestess card. I don't know. Bodies of Water. Oh, it calls you the Magician. It calls you the Magician, my High Priestess. Again, those, those cards are right there as well. Well, I got the Magician and the High Priestess here again. Maybe it's you too. Maybe it's both of you, huh? It says right here that... Can't, I'm just going to put both of you on here. Both of you are magical people who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Wow. And justice came out. My. She keeps things fair and balanced. There's a Vista happy home. Wow. All my love, dream boldly. You and your magician keep on keeping on, huh? Oh, my love, my friend. Another amazing spread about a power couple. Love and light, too thick and thin, man. Too thick and thin. That is so powerful, man. All my love, boldly. All my love. Okay, and this brings me to Nine Tail Fox, who wants to channel messages from the divine. Perfect. 
And then Carla. My Carla. Number nine. So nine tail fox. Oh, and channel messages from your guides. I want to play with my Terra Illuminati. All right, love team. Nile, nine tailed fox wants to channel message from her loved ones, her love team. Cornelius, specific, specific love team. We want to hear from Cornelius. Thank you, my friend. Channeled message from Cornelius, please. Here we go, nine-tailed fox, nine-tailed fox. A tower came out, now that can talk about change. Change, this is Scorpio Aries energy right here. This is the gods getting involved in your world. Bringing change. can be a change that leads to healing. This is temperance. It's Michael has showed up around here. Huh? It's a beautiful healing energy. It's my art of allowance. It's about allowing nothing but the best into your life. Nine tail fox. We want to hear from Cornelius, please. Mm. Well, high honor. High honor for you. You look rather angelic. The high priestess, the keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor for you, High Priestess. That's given honor where honor is due, my friend. You know, you know, friends in high places. Look at that, man. Can be about, you know, more esoteric giftings and all of that as well. Let's see what's going on around here. Cornelius, what do you want to say? A magician came out. This is a very powerful, deliberate creator. Um, they want to show you how to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. How to take this inner knowledge that you have. You know, this is as above, so below. There's above, there's below. And the magician is a very powerful card. The one I call my deliberate creator. They know how to take the powers from the heavenlies and bring them to earth. Interesting stuff right here. It's like you're in um, 
you're in angel school or something, my earth angel. They want to show you how to manifest your dreams coming true. Leaving days of towers behind. Let's see what else I have to say. We got a tower to temperance. Again, that's my art of allowance. Or my high priestess, very mysterious, very sexy, very spiritual high priestess. Tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. To the magician who manifests the star. A healer. There is a magician again. There is a magician again. That's like a high call, to say the least, now. I wonder... This is Nine Pinnacles right here. So this is a nice money card as well. It's my independent, self-assured, confident, earth angel on earth. Nine of Pinnacles. Says I want to show you how to manifest uh, your dreams coming true. That can be a single card right there. Oh, your dreams coming true. That's the wheel of fortune. That's the wheel of change for the better. Oh, yes. I want to show you. I want to show you how to spin the wheel. Well, I'm digging this for you. I want to show you how to spin this wheel in your favor regularly. Yeah. I keep, you know, hearing the days of not needing a miracle. That's fun. <laughs> the days of not needing a miracle. Look at what came out after that. This beautiful judgment card. You pulled a major arcanas. Let me get that right. Where is it? Man? There it is. Judgment. That's great spiritual awakening, enlightenment, Phoenix from its ashes. You pulled three major arcana out of this deck so far. The magician, the wheel of fortune, and judgment, all surrounding nine of pentacles. Oh man, look at that. They want to take you to a they want to take you to a place right here. Look at another major arcana. That's a hierophant in this deck. Wow, that's great spirituality. My healer. My teacher. I like your friend. I like your friend a lot, man. <laughs> that's a nice guide right there. Oh, they, you, they hold you in high honor. Cornelius holds you in high honor. I'm going to show you how to be the magician. Probably well on your way. You pulled that twice. Nine of Pentacles. Looking at the Wheel of Fortune. I like that too. That's about coins. They know we live on earth. Judgment is Phoenix from its ashes. It's also the Great Awakening. It's the card of the Enlightenment. To that beautiful Hierophant right there, huh? Has that very spiritual healer on there. Well, 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 well. Go on with yourself. Go on with yourself, my Earth Angel. You got, you got, you got at least one friend in high places. And they got big dreams about you. 
Look at this, man. Infinite Supply came out. Oh. Oh, thank you, Source. I'm putting that right there by the hair pant and the star. Oh, I like your friend, man. Um, says you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Wow. And bright future. Everything is going to be fine. Wow. Hope you enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed it. May all your dreams come true. You pulled out major arcana after major arcana. As a matter of fact, that whole spread only had one minor arcana in it, my friend. And that's that amazing one right there. That is the Nine of Pentacles, which is Empress Energy. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Carla. My Carla. Wants to take a look at uh, uh, your new Capricorn friend. Oh, Maria's here. Hi, Maria. I got you right here, my friend. Thanks, Maria. Oh. Oh, Cornelius loves you a lot, too. I'll let you know that. It's all over me, man. It's, it's... Anyway, I like your friend. <laughs> Very powerful. All right. My Maria. Uh, number 15 tonight, my friend. And, uh, level 2. Thank you, Maria. All right, my Carla. Carla's number nine. And Rachel Thomas um, is number 10. There's my Carla. Hey, Carla. Okay. I felt all that love right there. I felt a powerful love right there. I felt a powerful love right there. All right, Carla, let's take a look at your your new friend, your Capricorn friend. Carla, my Libra, wants to look at a Capricorn. Let's rock and roll. Carla, I reckon we'll play with some love cards, huh? Carla. Carla, we got level three. No, oh, level two. Is that correct? I'm going to take a look here quickly, Carla. Okay, a level two, December 22nd, Carla wants to take a look at uh, the future possibly with the Capricorn, let's play some tarot my friend, Carla, Carla, first card out of the love deck. Wow, I see that you got great hope and great faith. That's a star card right there, darling. 
you know, it's a card about dreams coming true. Oh, yes, you have set your intentions about what you want to manifest here, I would say. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Destiny. Them showing up on their white steed. <laughs> Bearing gifts. Yes, it's your emperor right there. It's the emperor. Maybe looking at the magician, you know, as above, so below. And I got you right here, Divine Feminine Energy. The moon showed up. Hmm. Oh, you be careful, be careful of our stinking thinking, you know, about the lovers. So we're going to pull out another deck right here. It says to me that you got great hope and great faith in the destiny card right here about an emperor. He seems to be looking at the magician, right? As above, so below. As within, as without. I got a moon card, so it would say to me that he thinks a lot about his divine feminine right there, but she seems to be wondering about it all. I do see some kissy face going on here. I do. I do. So let's see what this beautiful deck... Um, Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms has to say. Oh my. <laughs> oh, yeah, wondering about laundry day. <laughs> That's hilarious, my friend. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me some on that star card. That star card. You know, that card about dreams coming true. Uh, oh, is it? <laughs> I don't know, keeps calling him your emperor. Keeps calling him your emperor, you know. It's the second time the emperor showed up around that star card right there. Oh, look at him. Look at these pictures right here. He be checking out his star, baby. Oh. She may not know how deeply he feels. Oh, she's wondering about it. Give me a card right here. Give me a card right here. Start of the wheel. Start of the wheel. <laughs> I'm having fun. Because this is this is three wands, right? You know, it's about seeing your ships come in. It's a tree of life over there, huh? Got a bunch of angels flying around and maybe star babies. You know, she sees her ships coming in right here. I see him, man. He he can't take his eyes off my star baby. I'm going to tell you that right there, right now. Now, give me some on this magician. Excuse me, the emperor looking at the magician. The emperor looking at the, at the magician right here. Wow. King of Cups came out. Oh. Look at him, man. He's spending time with Soros. Oh, girl, you spun him up, man. He's taking a little quiet time, maybe. Talking with the Divine. That's the old King of Love right there. King of Love for me is somebody's got deep feels for you, but haven't really showed you how deeply they feel for you. Another major arcana. There it is. Judgment. Judgment on the on the divine feminine moon card right there, right? Phoenix from its ashes, man. I don't know. Uh, I see a, I see a yes with your Capricorn right here. <laughs> Damn it, 
Uh, this is another major arcana. Temperance on the lovers. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. You know, the art of allowance, allowing something to unfold. It showed me right here with the king of love came out on the emperor. The, he's got deep, deep feels for it. I told you, I seen him. I seen him sneaking a peek right here. He's sneaking a peek right there. I would say he can't take his can't take his eyes or his thoughts off of you. I see you staring at you know the tree of life, three wands in this deck, and and the wheel of fortune. I got the king of love. They seem to be. I don't know. They seem to be. Spending time with the divine, the magician. You know, it's nice cards. It is. It is, man. He can't take his mind off you. And then there's a rebirth right here on my divine feminine energy. Phoenix from its ashes, rebirth. Probably thinking differently and feeling differently. Can I say that to you, Carla? Because that can be, you know, stinking thinking, you know. We, we want to get back over here to this faith right? Those kind of wavering thoughts, you know. Those uh, those don't manifest anything. I do got temperance on the lovers. It's beautiful. It means Michael's involved in this as well. I like this deck. I cut to it right here. A Queen of Cups showed up. A Queen of Cups right there with Temperance. A King of Cups over here. Phoenix from its ashes. Rebirth. Judgment. Temperance. We got a love story unfolding. So, oh, because of the star. Positive thoughts, faith. Ooh. Um, all in all, I mean, if you met somebody new, you got them all spun up, girl. And it showed you two as the king and the queen of cups. Showed you two as the lovers as well. Showed you king of cups as the emperor. Well, let's get a love card on here, huh, Carla? True love could very well be, my friend. Now the art of allowance, right? Allowing it to unfold, positive thoughts, positive words, inspired action, you know. Uh, here we go. Give me one. Give me one. Flirt. <laughs> Flirt. <laughs> that always helps. Playfulness. <laughs> that always helps. That always helps. And keep an open mind. That always helps too. <laughs> and don't forget, a big old dose of loving yourself first, okay? All right, my lovely? Hope you enjoyed that read. I see great, great potential with you too. Huh? All my love. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Pull the star twice. Love and light. Okay. Rachel Thomas is number 10. And Christy, Christy Harlan. Is number 11. Here's my Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Wonderful, my friend. Are you, are, are you new around here? Got my newbie bluebie badge. Thank you, my friend. And then who is that? Hummingbird grabbed your reed? She's so sweet. She's so sweet. You must have been hollering at me.
<laughs> That's right, Carla. That's right. Okay, my friend. Rachel. Whatever source has to say. Well, let's do it, my friend. What's your zodiac? What's your sun sign? Yes, she is, man. Yes, she is. All oh, my love, hummingbird. Rachel, what's your sun sign, my friend? Oh, Gemini. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I got Tara Illuminati in my hand. Let's play some tarot. Rachel Thomas. Rachel Thomas, my Gemini friend. Ooh, judgment came out. Well, that's got Gabriel blowing a horn around here. I have to see what comes out with judgment. It's uh, my card of Phoenix from its ashes. It's my card of uh, rebirth. It's also my card of enlightenment. Greater understandings. The spiritual laws. Judgment showed up. To the sun. Now that is a beautiful rebirth energy here for you, my friend. If you've been stuck like Chuck in a broke down truck, that is about breakthrough right there. To the land where the sun shines, my friend. Rachel. Rachel. And the star came out. Wow, the sun and the star. Can, can, it can definitely be an energy of moving forward in life. Can be an energy of letting the past be in the past. The star card puts out hellfire if there was some kind of tower. There's your major arcana, Gemini. The magician. The number one card. Can be about manifesting all new beginnings all around in your life, my friend. Learning, applying the laws of the universe. Hmm. One more. Rachel. Oh, wow. Darling, it shows you back on your throne. Venus. Love and abundance, the days of the sun. Manifesting love and manifesting abundance. Some healing right there with that star energy. Dancing in the sun in the near future. Rebirth. Rebirth. Uh, that's Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, there's an emperor on this story, too. <laughs> Uh, darling, that could be a new friend. That could be a new friend right there. Could very well be. Whatever whatever your faith is for right here. Whatever your faith is for. Whatever your bliss is. The sun to the star is about faith and bliss. And then the magician. As above, so below. The star and the sun. As above, so below. This is the emperor and the empress playing in the earthly plane. Whatever it is, 
It looks very sweet to me. Let's play with this beautiful deck right here. Sacred Kingdoms. Sacred Kingdoms. Got a judgment call. Phoenix from its ashes. A rebirth energy to the sun. Wow. A fool came out. Another major arcana out of a full deck. Ah, uh, that is about a fresh start and a new beginning, a leap of faith and a new direction in life. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Some on that beautiful sun right here for Rachel. Oh, uh, this is my nine of wands, you know, the warrior. The old, the old love warrior right there. They're going forward, man. They are pressing through to where the sun shines in life. You know, nine of wands. Letting the past be in the past. Pressing forward. Temperance came out, another major arcana. The angel of the middle way on the sun and the star. I call that my art of allowance, right? Learning to allow nothing but the best into your life. I see it on this spread. I see it on this spread, my warrior. Let's go. Give me some star to the magician. That's nice, man. Oh, look what came out of that. Yet another major arcana. Darling, you only have one minor arcana so far, and that is my warrior, my love warrior. It's the hermit. So this can be a little bit of quiet time with the divine. It can also be the leading and the guiding of the divine for my warrior right here. Temperance, the art of allowance, your source showing up. This is about planetary alignments, lining up, being led and guided by the divine. To the land of the magician. And then there's an empress and an emperor. Oh, an emperor showed up on your magician right there. An emperor showed up. He taking notice of this empress right here. Oh, this could be in the near future right here. Hey, that's nice, man. Right there on that magician. Maybe, maybe he's manifesting his empress or his empress manifesting him hey this is a nice this is a nice star love story right here my friend in the land uh <laughs> in the land where the sun shines <laughs> here we go get some on my empress and my emperor please six of pinnacles came out on this um, look at her, she's all lit up, and, um, yeah, look at this emperor right here, he's looking at six of pentacles, six of pentacles can be about reciprocity, equal give and take, want more on that right there, it can also be about entrepreneur energy, yes, these two are looking for each other, man. Makes me like they're going to find each other, too. Oh, when I said that, you pulled this special card right here. The Celestial Weaver. Oh, that's fun, man. You can put your own meaning on that. That's the Celestial Weaver right here. This is weaving a love story right here, man. Got the gods involved in it, too. 
Oh yeah, look. Uh, that says Four of Wands. Oh, that's the house on the hill. Oh, wow. <laughs> who do who? Who do who, my Gemini friend, huh? The magician, the empress, the emperor. The Four of Wands. The Celestial Weaver. All my love, my friend. All my love, my world. Oh, give me a love card here then, huh? Give me a love card. Give me a love card. Why not, man? Rachel. Flirt. <laughs> Flirt. Past life lover. Here we go, man. Flirting, flirting, past life lover showed up. I think they're from the 5D. I don't know. He may not have met him yet. Very soon came out. Oh. Oh, there may be a choice. Oh, uh, oh, very soon came out, huh? Judgment and the Fool. Yeah, I think you're going to jump in a new direction in life, is what it says to me. Huh? Very soon. Past life lovers. A little walking, a little talking in hair fan garb. Well, 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 well. May our dreams come true, Rachel. My Gemini friend, love and light, love and light. You pulled the house on the hill. Could be with somebody new, yeah. <laughs> My warrior. <laughs> All right. Christy. Christy is number 11 and Shelms is number 12. Oh, you're so welcome, Rachel. Enjoy the journey we call life. I got. I want to look at something here. I want to see Christy's note. What is my friend? What is their intention? and behaviors towards me in the future. Okay. Christy. What is your friend's intentions in the future? Hey, Nakia, nice to see you tonight. Okay. Christy, what is your friend's intentions? I'm going to play with Dancing in the Dark. Christy, let's do a little dancing, darling. A little dancing in the dark because we want some clarity about your friend's intentions in the future. Here we go. Here we go. Christy. Guess it's about your friend and their intentions, huh? First card out, Christy's friends, Hangman, oh lordy. Well, that's a Pisces major arcana. And uh, Hangman is about thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently. Um... Definitely wanting to come out of uh, some kind of hangman's tree. What are they thinking and feeling differently about? What are they thinking and feeling differently about? Um, strength came out. They're thinking differently and feeling differently maybe about um, holding their energy back from you. 
Because that's what strength is, is for me. A lot of passion right there. A lot of passion. But hangman and strength says that they... Well, it says to me they're thinking and feeling differently about how they may be holding their energy back from you. Christy. What's Christy's friend thinking and feeling about Christy? Uh, divine feminine energy came up. Um, that's a smoky trail here with you two, huh? You know, he's wondering if he wants to go down this trail. You know, it looks like he's a nervous nilly. You know. <laughs> he can't decide if he wants to be the domesticated doggy or the wild wolf. But that crab's definitely going down that trail right there. Oh, because he seems to be dealing with the Empress. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. oh, love and abundance showed up around here. Oh, oh, he met an Empress. Oh, well, 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 well. Let's see what's going on around here. <laughs> oh, no. The old nervous one right here. Yeah, he ran into an empress. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me one for the board. One for the board. Christy. Christy, what's it going to do? Oh, oh. It could say he's going to transform. I'm going to have to pull some more cards out. I don't know. He's kind of a nervous nilly around here. That's a Scorpio card. It's a card of transformation, death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation for him. I want one more major arcana, then we're going to pull out uh, uh, Sacred Kingdom. Oh, look at him, man. Oh, wow. An emperor came out. Damn. Damn. There's some transformation in him. Huge transformation because he ran into an empress. <laughs> I have fun. I have fun with the old emperor right there. Because sometimes divine feminine can blow their mind. There's a lot of passion. He's thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently about this empress right here. Yeah, yeah. The old domesticated dog here, the wild wolf. <laughs> the lone wolf. The lone wolf. Looks like there's a major transformation in the near future. Watch your stinking thinking. Don't be going down that road yourself. See the story the way that you want it to come out. But I see major transformation in that old emperor right there. Coming out of the hangman street. Let's see, let's see what uh, Sacred Kingdoms has to say around here. For my Christy. My Christy. A major arcana came out on the hangman. Tower. Oh. <laughs> Tower. <laughs> Darling, that's about change. That tower blows you out of that hangman's tree right there. Woo! Oh, these emperors these days. Six of Pentacles came out. Oh, look at him, man. He just showed up again, the old emperor out of this deck right here. Oh, he's looking at his princess right there. I don't know. She, she maybe have a little detach energy going on these days. You know, because Six of Pentacles is about equal give and take. She may have a little detach energy going on around here these days. Okay, okay, knowing your worth, knowing you're the empress. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look, another major arcana came out right here. The hermit. Oh, 
we had somebody spending some time with source. And this again is about planetary alignments. I'd say both of you are looking, both of them are looking towards source. This is the hermit. It's about planets lining up and people being led and guided by the divine. They both be looking at source right there. That six of pentacles. There may be a little detached right there if there was an equal give and take. My divine feminine. Oh my goodness. Four of Wands came out. That's the house on the hill right there. Oh my goodness, Phoenix came out. It's a special card in this deck. It's Phoenix from its ashes. <laughs> um, I'd say that your friend is coming out of being nervous nearly. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about you right here. You may have detached a little bit with that Six of Pentacles. He's thinking, oh, I got to come in and fly right. Oh, Lordy, I met an Empress. I don't know. I like I like the Death card. I like Four Wands. And I love the Phoenix on that Death card as well. With my Emperor and my Empress in the spread right here. So, hmm? follow the leading and the guiding of the Divine. Give me a card right here, please. Christy. Chemistry came out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I just want you to relax. I want you to have loving on yourself, spoiling yourself. Okay, one more. Oh, the honeymoon. The honeymoon came out. The love boat. The love boat over here on Phoenix and Four of Wands and Chemistry and the Rebirth card. Enjoy the bliss of time together. Wow, forgiving and learning. Look at you two. And uh, wow, man, the Romance of a Lifetime card came out as well. Hey, enjoy the journey right here. Enjoy the journey. Make sure they put in the effort. Great loves, we're taking the steps you're guided to take. Have fun. Have fun. May all your dreams come true. Christy. And this brings me to Shelves. Hey, Shelves, you still in the house? We're going to play a little bit of tarot. We're going to play a little bit of tarot. Okay, Shelves is number 12, and it's Jenny is 13, Wayfinder, you are 14. Hey, Shelves, nice to see you tonight, my friend. Anything in particular you want to look at? Okay, Jenny, you just want, uh, we're looking at the good stuff. A general read for you. Oh. Yes, Shelves is up right now. It's Jenny with the good stuff. And then uh, my Wayfinder wants to look at a new job offer. Okay. Nothing in particular. Okay, Shelves. Let's have some fun, my friend. Let's have some tarot fun. Let's play with dancing in the dark. Let's do a little dancing around here tonight, Shelves, huh? 
Oh, my cancer, my cancer, baby. My cancer. All right, all right, shelves. Let's play some tarot. Shelves, dancing in the dark. 22 majors of shelves. Oh, what's that? Oh, wow, the wheel showed up. It pushed itself right into my hand. The old wheel of fortune showed up around here, shelves. Change for the better. Winner, winner, chicken dinner showing up around here. An omen of good luck and good fortune was your first card out in the major spread, my friend. Shelves, what's this wheel about? That's interesting. That's a strength card. That's a big Leo card right there. That's a Leo card. That's a Saggy card. Strength. It would say to me that um, you're not interested in going back into old energies. I could say that. You want to go forward. You want the wheel to spin in your favor. You're not interested in playing with old energies anymore. Oh, very much so. The world card came out. The world card came out. Completing an old cycle. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. The wheel's spinning. A new world. Show me this new world. Shelves. A cancer friend. <laughs> <laughs> <Hoody -hoo. laughs> that's a fool card right there that, that's a, that, that's the way it goes don't it you know uh 21 21 ends ends a karmic cycle or or well it ends it ends it ends the fool's journey takes us through all uh, 22 steps of the major arcana because it starts with the zero it starts with the the fool card so it talks about you uh, completing an old cycle right there, not desiring to go back. I love the wheel on it for you. And we're going forward. We're going forward in life. And uh, it's a brand new cycle. Uh, we're going to go through the all 22 steps again, huh? I like it for you, Shelves. Let's go. Let's go, my little earth angel. Give me one more. Give me one more. Tell me what this new star and this new world is about right here. <laughs> Roll. <Ro. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, you know, this is a... Well, I have my own stories with these cards anymore. This is my art of allowance, right? It's allowing nothing but the best into your life anymore. Uh, people, places, things, ain't none too good for you. And uh, the angel of the middle is right there. Temperance. Again, that is my art of allowance card. So, you know, it is the cup blender as well. Huh? <laughs> but... It's an art form that we're all learning these days to allow nothing but the best into our lives. Thank you. Nothing's too good for us. Thank you. All right. All right. The wheel's spinning around here. The wheel's spinning around here. Give me some on this for shelves. Yo, wheel spinning. What's that about? Win a win a chicken dinner. Oh, the Queen of Cups. Well, that's you, man. Look at you. Queen of Cups right there. That's my Queen of Love, my empath, all my psychic abilities, my healer, my dreamer. Look at the butterflies around her. Oh, that's nice. She's all tuned in to Source, man. Oh, she's in love with the divine. Ooh la la, man. Ooh la la. Okay, here we go. Here we go. My Queen of Love just showed up. Shelves. Some on that old strength card, please. We ain't going backwards or going forwards. 
Three of Pentacles showed up on that. Um, it could say, you know, I mean, Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. It's a card of building a new foundation, maybe with somebody that's important to you. It's definitely a card of uh, collaboration, building a new foundation. It's a coins card. It came out after the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely want to uh, build a new foundation in your own life. Give me some on that, on that, uh, on that world card right there. Seven of Wands. Look at this Seven of Wands. This is my hero's card. This is uh, somebody who decided to stand up, do what's best for them. Choosing a new path in life to go down. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. <laughs> go, my queen of love. Go, my queen of love. That is my hero's card right there. Hero's card showed up on a new world. It's something, a fool card. Wow, the magician showed up. Wow, that's my deliberate creator. As above, so below. My manifester. Oh, it's sitting right by the art of allowance. That's sitting right by the art of allowance. That's my deliberate creator. Uh, temperance for me is the art of allowance. It's allowing nothing but the best into our life. It's also, you know, the cup blender right there. Or you need coins. Well, coins are right there. Behind the Wheel of Fortune. And you know what came out right here? You know it came out. A king. A king showed up here, Shelves. Look at him. He's sitting out there under that light, too. Look at these two. I don't even know if they know each other yet. I don't even know if they know each other yet. Michael knows. <laughs> That could be that Three Pentacles, right? That collaboration, building a new foundation. Wow, that's a fun spread, ain't it? That's a fun spread. Queen of Cups came out on the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Pentacles came out on Strength. Seven of Wands came out on the World card, My Hero. Going to do what's best for you, man. Choose a new path. Zero to the one. The fool to the magician. About manifesting a new beginning. Temperance, the art of allowance. And the king of cups came out on that. Shelves. <laughs> well, let's play a love card on this, huh? Here we go, man. My shelves, my shelves, this is, this is something, flirt came out, <laughs> flirt came out, here we go, man, here we go, shelves, shelves, a past life lover came out, I don't think these two know each other in the, third, in the, in the 3D yet, it says you got your attractor on, being in the now, being in the moment, letting the past be in the past, staying optimistic about your love life. You can see her, she's about the things of the divine. Positive thinking. Now that's that magician right there, ain't it? Positive thinking, positive thoughts, the art of allowance. Shelves. 
Darling, you got the Wheel of Fortune, you got Three Pentacles, you got Seven of Wands, my Heroes card. You got the Fool, Zero to Number One. There's your, there's your step. Art of Allowance, King of Cups. On the honeymoon and a soulmate. Past life lover, honey. Because, oh, well, you deserve love and money. May all your dreams come true, shelves. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm flirting with anybody anymore. I feel you. I feel you. There may be a change in the near future. Just go on with yourself, my magician. You're off to a new start in life, man. It's a powerful spread. All my love, Shelves. All my love, my hero. All my love. May your dreams come true. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, that's when that's when it does show up, you know, when we're not looking for it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, it's Jenny, 13, plus 13. And then my Wayfinder, Natty, it's 14. Okay. It's Jenny. A movie spread for my Jenny. Kathleen, thank you. Very kind of you, my friend. Appreciate that. I still got 43 in the house. Thank you, my friends. Looks like we're going to read for Jenny. My Wayfinder. Daddy. And my Maria. So some cards for Jenny right here. What you got for Jenny? We're looking for the good stuff. Looking for the good stuff around here. First card out. Wow, the wheel. Yeah, my friends, man. I get excited when the wheel comes out. It's a major arcana pull that I'm doing here for you. That's a great way to start it, you know. It's an omen of good luck and good fortune for you, so rock that. Mm, the wheel's spinning in your favor. You know, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right up. Out of, that's Jupiter, expansion and good luck. Let's go, let's go. My Jenny, my Jenny, the wheel's spinning around here. What we got? Oh, to a star. To a star. The star puts out hellfire. There's been any kind of hellfire. You know, the wheel was going upside down for a minute. The star is about moving in a new direction in life. Um, carefree. You know, um, it's Aquarius energy. Um, it's about dreams coming true. Wow, the wheel to the star on a general pole, Major Arcano. <laughs> okay, okay, Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> I hear the angels singing. Oh, okay, give me some for my Jenny. Some for my Jenny. Oh. <laughs> for the better, darling. We can say that. You know. I don't know. Maybe the dream lover. <laughs> hey. Wow. Um, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> who's that? Who's that that showed up in your spread? The old chariot barreling down the road right there with the yin-yang ponies on it. 
My, 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 this is kind of exciting. Wow, you know, chariot coming charging down the road to my star baby right here. Because the wheel's spinning. The wheel's spinning, you know, it's it's whatever you've been believing for right here. Uh, you believe for new? You believe for reconciliation? Whatever it is, this charioteer is bringing it in. It's a card of victory. Give me one more. I'm always rooting for new, but, you know, the wheel is here. The wheel is here. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe a new friend showing up in your world. Here we go, man. <laughs> I'm giggling because a hangman just showed up. Who the hell is that, man? Who the hell is that? That's a Pisces card, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Well, somebody's coming out of a hangman's tree. Hangman's about believing and thinking differently these days. Uh, I cut to two cards right there. Temperance and Justice. Oh. Let's give one for the board, huh? Let's give one for the board. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> And this may be somebody who wants to, uh, I don't know, play with you again. Could be. I'm going to pull some love cards out on this because this is about major transformation. It is your spread. It can't say you're coming out of the hangman's tree. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation in a love story. For you. I mean, I like the chariot behind the, the lovers. And hangman's about coming out of that tree. And the death card is about rebirth for you. Major transformation in your love life just showed up around here, my friend. Oh, I wonder if it is new. I wonder if it is new. Because there's a world card right there. About an old cycle ending. What's that? What's that old cycle? Hangman? Uh-huh. That's a world card that just showed up around here for Divine Feminine. Darling, I see a love story right here. I always root for new, but whatever it is, there's a charioteer coming, busting down the road for my star baby in this spread. Give me a love card here. Give me a love card here. Jenny. Ooh, passion came out. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay, dokie. Ooh, 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 whatever it is, man. Your love life's ascending to a higher level of commitment with some passion. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> hey, I'll take a spread like this. Give me one, man. Give me one. Oh, you have been busy loving on yourself first. Well... Looks like the universe is mirroring back on you. Loving on yourself first. Because you deserve love. It's the love boat. Because you've been busy about the things of the divine. Positive thoughts. Stay, it says staying optimistic about your love life. And there's the love boat right there. You deserve love. <laughs> Passion. <laughs> and uh, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All my love, all my love, Jenny. Enjoy the journey that we call life. May all your dreams come true, my friend. My wayfinder. My daddy. Nanny wants to look at a new job offer. Oh, who's that? Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike Bennett. Hello, my friend. We got a spot here for you tonight, Mike.
Thank you, Mike, for uh, 14 months of membership. It's about 16 tonight. We're on 14, Mike. That's my gypsy bones. Hi, gypsy. Thank you, my friend. An upgrade. Gypsy bones, number 17 tonight. Thank you, gypsy. Level two. Appreciate you. <laughs> Is that right, Wayfinder? <laughs> oh, that old... <laughs> you know, we see something about a job, but, you know, that, that green-eyed Scorpio, Mike. Uh, let me know if they show up in the spread. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Gypsy. Oh, we're really looking at the upcoming interview. <laughs> okay. We're looking for this and that around here, it looks like, huh? Look for this and that. Let's see if there's a green-eyed Scorpio that shows up around here. All right. Let's play with Tara Illuminati. I I'm gonna I am going to i am going to I'm gonna play with Elemental Wisdom. Elemental wisdom around here for the wayfinder. Manati. Wayfinder. I don't know about a new job interview. First and foremost, we want to know about a new job interview. Natty. Natty. Well, the magician came out. Damn, you're the one large and in charge. Uh, they got all four aces right there, Natty. Is that ace of cups? I did see an emperor. I wanted to talk about the coins first. There's a golden coin. There's a, a ace of wands. That could be new career opportunities. Ace of swords. You know, it's communication skills and all that. Donna, you pulled the uh, magician, the number one card out. We're looking about a new interview. Wow, look at this, man. Look what came out when I'm talking about a new interview. The fool card came out. It's about a fresh start and a new beginning, my magician. So positive thoughts, positive words, inspired action, all that fun stuff. No stinking thinking. You know, hell, man, when we, go in, when we go in for an interview around here, we stand outside the door for a minute, and we prepare ourselves to go in there. Somebody's going to have their way in that room, and that somebody would be the one that has set their intentions the highest. Go, Natty. The magician to the fool, darling. Give me one. <laughs> I think I think we're shifting to the second part of your reading. These are great cards about an interview. Okay. Be the one large and in charge. Set your intentions. You know, because all there is is now. So every time you open a door, you enter into a new now. Don't forget that. And like I said, the one that's going to manifest what they want is the one that has set their intentions the highest before they enter into their new now. Very positive cards about a job interview. 
Now the reason why I said that shift to the agreed iron Scorpio is because, well, their major arcana showed up right here in my hand. Oh, and there's some green right there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, a Scorpio card just showed up around here. That it did. And another reason why I stopped right there was because of this one on the other side. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, looking like laundry day around here. Wow, and a wheel. And a wheel. Looking like this and that, darling. There's a big coin for you as well. The old wheel of the destiny. Oh, there, there he is right there. I told you I saw that emperor. There he is right there. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Let's get this new deck out, huh? So. These are nice cards, my magician. How about your job interview? Okay, see that, if that's what you want, about a fresh start and a new beginning, about uh, uncommon favor with the gods. You know, when I go in, man, I take the gods with me. They don't know what I'm doing when I'm standing outside that door for entering my new now. I'm preparing myself to enter into that new now to manifest what I want, a new beginning. Then we got uh, the, the Scorpio card. An emperor, some lovers, and a wheel. A wheel. There's been some kind of fallout. May have been, you know, with that Scorpio card right there. It's about death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. The lovers, the wheel spinning. And an emperor dressed in his Sunday best. So let's play some tarot, huh? Let's play some tarot. My Wayfinder. I love your name, man. My Wayfinder. Give me something on the Magician to the Fool. The magician to the Fool. What's going on around there? Oh, look at, look at, look at Natty. Look. It's my Queen of Cups. It's my, it's my Empath. She's tuned in, man. She's already connected with Source about what she wants. Oh, look at my empath right there. My healer, my dreamer. She all tuned in, man. Love this deck. Daddy, that's positive. That's really positive, my friend. We ain't going into that interview alone. No, we are not. Hmm. I cut to the deck and a major arcana came out. That's source for me. You know, the leading and the guiding of the divine. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. Well, I like that, man. I used to take that into your interview right there. That's a common favor with the gods manifested in some kind of new beginning. Oh. Oh, well, hold on here. Again, it shifts. <laughs> Thank you. I got a Knight of Cups right here. I got a Knight of Cups. Oh. Oh, they got all kinds of candles lit up over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that up there in that picture? I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. Oh, look at that! Somebody's up there in that picture on the wall. Got the old Knight of Cups. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun with this right here. Four of Cups. I don't know, that could be a period of reevaluation. This is under, under the old tree of life right there. You got a Knight of Cups. Scorpio right here. Four of Cups. Oh, 
Yes, baby, please don't go. Yes, baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. Look at him, man. That's the world card to the Two of Wands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby. Please don't go. Look what came out on, on the lovers. That's the house on the hill. It's four wands. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have fun with my emperor around here. The gods are doing a work on our emperors these days, my friends. Some on a wheel. This is looking like this and that, my friend. This and that. Oh my God. Look what came out on the wheel. It's a special card in this deck. It's the Phoenix. It's the Phoenix came out. Okay. Okay, my lovelies. Oh, I like this deck a lot, man. <laughs> Make me giggle, man. Make me giggle, because, well, there's, there's, you know, baby, please don't go. What is that? Three swords, you know. They're contemplating right here, man. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Got their little candles burning. Four cups. Baby, please don't go to a wands of the world. Three swords. Oh, that's two cups. That's two cups. Let's put that over there by the phoenix. And the wheel of fortune. I saw a little bit about both, my little magician. Hmm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the Wayfinder. The Wayfinder. Give me a love card on this, my natty. Wow, look at this guy right here. Express the love. Wow, the true love card came out. No, the old worth waiting for, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the worth waiting for. The romance of a lifetime. Expressing the love. You've been just pouring this cup on yourself. You have been pouring this ace of cups all up on you. Now, I see uncommon favor right here, and I see, uh, I see Phoenix from its ashes over here, my friend. Stay optimistic. Stay about the things of the divine. Mm -hmm. Manifest that uncommon favor, don't it? May our dreams come true, Wayfinder. Love and light, my friend. Enjoy the journey that we call life. And this brings me to my Maria. What you thinking about tonight, Maria? There you are, my friend. Anything in particular you want to look at tonight? Uh, Maria is number 15 and Mike Bennett is number 16.
Okay, boldly. Thank you, my friend. Malia. I got you right here. 18. Thank you, boldly. Thank you, Boldly. You're so very kind. <laughs> I see you right there, Melinda. Wow, oh, you got favor. Malia Henning. And that is a level two for you, my friend. Thank you, Boldly. Okay, my Maria. My Maria. Can you pull cards on that energy? Bees have been close to me. I always see bees as the land of milk and honey for me. When I'm out and about, you know, and things are flying around in the sky. I love the butterfly. Love the dragonfly. And I love the bees. Because they talk about abundance and prosperity to me. The land of milk and honey, you know. So let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, bees don't scare me either, man. I love them. Uh, I mean, if you're flying at a high vibration, I don't know if you can get stung. Bees seem to be ir irritated by low vibrational stuff. They seem to be willing to rip their little stinger out of their bunghole to get rid of low vibration energy. I'm just saying. Bees. I like them. They don't seem to bother me too much. Well, let's go. My Maria. Been seeing bees these days. Oh, look at that. Yeah. They only sting to protect. That's right. That's right. So, fly high, my friends, and enjoy the bees. Well, where are we going around here? With my Maria tonight, seeing the bees, the land of milk and honey. Let's, uh, let's play with my Terra Illuminati, see what it talks about, huh? See what it talks about. For Maria, 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 Maria. The hermit came out. Which is a great card, it is. Um, it's, see the falling stars? And that will eclipse the moon up there. And um, it's quiet time with source, but um, that's the guiding light of the divine, isn't it? It's about planetary alignments, eclipse moon. Maria. A fool came out. A fool came out. He represents a new beginning, a fresh start. That old leap of faith. That's nice. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> I'm wondering who that fool is right there. <laughs> I'm wondering who that fool is right there, huh, my friend? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Give me another one around here. Maria. Maria. Seeing bees flying around. Oh, who's Hangman? <laughs> oh, Hangman. 
Uh, we're supposed to be reading cards from Maria here. Who's Hangman? Who's Hangman? Well, there's your star. There's your star. There's your star of faith and hope and dreams coming true. This is a story about somebody thinking differently and feeling differently these days. You know, they're about to jump off the cliff. So it says, a star baby over here just rocking the star. Wow, and the Wheel of Fortune came out. You know, a wheel of change for the better. Maybe a wheel of the return. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I got a chariot to the lovers. I got a chariot to the lovers showed up around here. Come on, bees. Come on, bees. <laughs> I'm rooting for the bees around here. Yes, I like the bees best of all. I really do. Over the butterfly, over the dragonfly. If I see bees, I get excited. They are talking about the land of milk and honey coming to me. All right, hermit card is a quiet time with the divine. Here we go. Get something on that hermit. Maria. That's a nice card that came out of that hermit, my friend. It's, a, it's that card of Ten of Cups. Oh, you've been putting your order in with the divine. We would like our land of milk and honey. Thank you. Oh, look at them shining their lantern on your little party right here. You know, that old land of milk and honey. Wow. Now tell me something about this fool right here. This fool may have been in Hangman for a minute. Oh, damn. Uh, who's that, man? That's the old three swords in this deck. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, 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 Lordy. Three swords. Oh, there's someone Hangman over here. Well, the fool came out on Hangman. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody's thinking differently and feeling differently these days. Back to my star baby over here. Back to my star baby sitting by the wheel. Then by the wheel, look like you put your order in with sort of ten cups over there. Now that's a card of faith and hope, dreams. Uh, kid, three pinnacles came out on that. That's a card of collaboration. Building a new foundation. Look at the fool looking at this three. Wow, well, somebody wants to go from three swords to three pins. Wow. Oh. Here we go. Give me some on that wheel. The wheel to the chariot to the lovers. Ooh, the magician came out. Oh, damn. Who's that, Maria? <laughs> Who's that? My delivered creator. Oh. Oh, the number one card showed up on the wheel. My magician. Oh. Here we go. Could be you. This is a beautiful page right here. It's a page of cups. It's a page of cups. You know, that's my muse card, but it is a communication card, too. So is the magician. Both on the wheel for my muse. Cherry to the lovers, please. Oh, wow. A 
Major Arcana came out on Chariot to the Eleventh. Justice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the Knight of Cops. I love this Knight of Cops right here. Somebody's in that picture up there. You can't really see. I can't see him. It's like Divine Feminine up there in that picture. Oh. The Knight of Cups. Hi, here's my cup. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Give me a love card around here. Maria. I don't think we had a read like this, have we? Ooh la la, man. I got the fool. Looks like they want to be happy again. Oh, lordy. A fool to three pinnacles. The magician, page of cups. Oh, it goes immediately to the knight of cups and justice. Chariot and the lovers. Okay. Okay, Maria. Maria, what do we got? Love card. Oh, past life love. <laughs> I bet you know who this is. <laughs> I bet you know who this story is about. Give me one. Maria. Well, looks like you've activated activated the mirror of the universe, darling. Loving on yourself first. Oh. Oh, wow. Your love life's ascending to a higher level of commitment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Hi, Maria. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> All my love, Maria. I had fun with that spread. All my love, my friend. May our dreams come true. All right, Mike Bennett. Mike is 16, and then uh, Gypsy Bones is 17. And Malia Henning is 18. All right, Mike. Got a movie thread here for you tonight, my friend. If you're in the house, maybe what you'd like to look at. Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett. Oh, I call you Cleopatra. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. This is Mike. Uh oh, all my condolences, my friend. Thank you, Mike. All my love to you too. So much love, my brother. All my condolences to you, my friend. So. We want guidance from the ancestors. So obviously you know they're closer than your very breath. Obviously you know that, my Aquarius friend. So we want to hear from the ancestors. Let's see what they have to say. My Aquarius friend. I'm going to play with uh, Elemental Wisdom. For Mike, my Aquarius friend. The loved ones have to say to Mike. 
the loved ones have to say to Mike? Mike. Mike. Hmm. It's an Aquarius card. They seem to know you well. Something about a fresh start and a new beginning. Something about childlike innocence. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever it'll be, it'll be. Although this fool has a trumpet in their hand. You know, they seem to be celebrating a new cycle, a new beginning, right? That's a zero card. Um, which means to me that uh, you completed a cycle. You completed probably a karmic cycle. This is about a fresh start and a new beginning. Uh, blowing that horn of triumph. Celebrating life. I'd say that that's what they want you to do. Oh, Mike, there's a lover. <laughs> uh, something about lover just showed up, my Aquarius friend. Hmm. The lovers. Something about a whole new world, Mike. Cut a bunch of ties. It's a new world. Maybe a new lover. Maybe a new lover. Oh, that's exciting. I feel you, friends. Something about the sun showing up around here, Mike. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. Well, 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 well. They're talking all about you. Seated on your throne, you look good, man. The emperor, ooh, ooh. The emperor after the sun, dude, that could be about money. Stability. Whew. Well, Mike seated on your throne. Justice. Yes. Yes, justice showed up around here. I'm telling you, man, this, this thread says that you have cut a karmic cycle out of your life. You know, you may have been in real warfare for a minute, spiritual warfare. But justice showed up on that old devil energy right there. From my emperor. This says that there's a new beginning for you. Maybe a new lover. A new world to the sun. It's a card of spirituality, abundance, possibly a strong union for you. Very much so, dude. Um... Temperance, <laughs> temperance is a hair fount, Mike. That's an earth angel right there. That part of you filled up with all kinds of spiritual wisdom after this, this battle that you're coming out of, that you have come out of. I'm not saying you're coming out of it. That fool's done with all that. The fool's done with all that. There is a lover, there's a hair fount. There's temperance, the art of allowance, allowing nothing but the best into your life. Justice on that old energy right there. Mike seated on your throne, new world leading to the sun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see what uh, God's guidance has to say, huh, Mike? We're a breakthrough here, man. Whatever that war was about, it's over. 
It's over. Look at him talk to you, man. Unconditional love they have for you. Oh, that's a God kind of love. That's beautiful, man. It says, love yourself and others in every situation, my Aquarius friend. The Great Humanitarian. I'm reading from the Great Humanitarian right here. Unconditional love from the gods. Oh, they love you, man. Sacred space. Look at them all around you. Give me one more. Oh, by the way, it says you're a healer. No, no wonder if you've been under attack. You're wandering around in unconditional love and you're a healer. Anyway. Ah, full of wisdom too, right? Inner wisdom came out. Oh, and the esoteric. The gift. You're gifted with the esoteric, my friend. You're also a healer. No wonder if you were under attack, man. Shit, we just call that Monday around here. <laughs> this cycle has been broken, my friend. This cycle has been broken. Get ready, man. Your new world seems to be full of sunshine and possibly a new lover. See? Right here. From my emperor back seated on his throne. Love and light, my friend. Love and light, may all your dreams come true, Mike. Oh, by the way, I like your friends. Love and light. Okay. Gypsy bones. Gypsy, my lovely, lovely gypsy. Okay. Okay. Gypsy bones. Are you in the house, gypsy? All right, level two for my gypsy. The highest good. Let's do it. Gypsy. Gypsy, the highest good. I like that, my friend. We're looking for the highest good. Gypsy. Gypsy, Gypsy. Wow, that is a chariot. That'll take you to your highest good right there, my friend. Um, it's an energy of letting the past be in the past where it belongs. You know. Got the got the got the ponies by the reins right there. Tuned in to source, that charioteer is, under the canopy of the universe. Gypsy, chariot. Where's that chariot going? Oh, it's going to the angel of the middle way. Well, 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 for me, um, I call this card an art form. It's an art that we, you know, you learn art. Hmm? It's about the art of allowance. It's about allowing nothing but the best into your life. It's the angel of the middle way too, you know, the cup blender. Highest good learning, you know, ain't none too good for you. 
chariot, chariot to the angel of the middle way, gypsy, oh, my high priestess, wow, look at you, look at you looking all angelic in this picture right here, darling, I'm the priestess of the moon, the keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Intuition, psychic abilities, giftings from the gods, esoteric giftings. Increase thereof. Oh, look at you, man. Flying high. Favor of the gods is here. Highest good. <laughs> Again, I mean, this is divine feminine energy right here. Again, this can be about um, increase in psychic abilities, intuition, esoteric giftings. That's always nice when we get an upgrade like that, kid. Hmm. See what comes out. What is this? Well, it's a fool card. It's a fool card to divine feminine energy. With Michael on this spread. That fool card's interesting to me because I when I cut earlier. I did see the lovers. That's divine feminine energy. It's like you got your attractor on right here. You're definitely attracting, you know, good stuff. One of them being esoteric giftings. And then a fool came out. A fool came out. <laughs> that could be a somebody. That could be a somebody. Give me one more right here, Gypsy Bones. Oh, the sun. Wow. Well, 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 well. The sun came out behind this fool. Oh, the sun and the moon. Oh, the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon. With a fool in between them. The fool comes from the heavenlies. The fool is the first card that lands on planet Earth. I got a little something for you, my high priestess. <laughs> yeah, the chariot with the yin-yang ponies right there. That's my card that talks about love messages from the gods. Oh, something about the sun and the moon hanging out. Hmm, maybe. The high priestess could have been a little still place for a minute. Oh, okay. I see esoteric giftings, and I see the sun and the moon maybe playing on the earth in the near future. Let's play with it. Let's play with this new deck, huh? Sac Sacred Kingdom. Sacred Kingdom. Gypsy Bones. Gypsy Bones. There's some on that chariot. That's my two of pinnacles. Two of pinnacles for me is about the dance of change. Look at that picture. The dance of change, you know, and, and you know, that traditionally has that infinity symbol around it, you know, in the old traditional tarot. Chariot, Temperance. Oh, the Magician just showed up. Look at all this fire. Look at all this fire showing up around here, Gypsy. Oh. Uh, this is co-creative energy with the Divine. 
you know, as above, so below. Well, there's above, there's below. Got a little book of fire right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what's my high priestess manifesting? Oh, maybe the sun and the moon. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Give me a card right here. Passion, yes, my friend. Yes, my friend. You see it. I do too. All right. The high priestess may have been in a still place for a minute. Oh, seven of wands came out. This is my hero's card. This is about somebody deciding to do what's best for them. A new journey in life. More fire too, kid. Do what's best for you. Look what came out, man. Nine of Cups came out after that. That's my hero's card. Seven of Wands is my hero's card. Nine of Cups, you know, is about dreams. And wishes and all that coming true, man. Oh, ooh la 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 la. All right, over here to the sun and the moon. Over here to the sun and the moon. Definitely coming up out of the still place with that hero's card and nine cops. <laughs> Give me one. Give me one, man. I, okay, they want me to show it to you. It's a pale rider. It's a pale rider. Told you coming up out of the still place. That's a pale rider right there. A big Scorpio card to a new world. To a new world. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation, nine of cups, wishes coming true. Um, a hero's card, manifesting with the divine, a new world. Wow, look at you, man. The Phoenix card came out. That's a special one in this deck. Phoenix from its ashes. Death card. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. My hero's card. Gonna do what's best for you. Gonna go get your wishes and your dreams, is what it says. <laughs> All right. The sun, the moon, and the fool, please. The sun, the moon, and the fool. Gypsy Bones. What we got? It's this high priestess. Look at you, man. Look at you. It's our high priestess again. She's letting guide in all that, you know. She's the priestess of the moon. There's a rebirth here for you. And there's your chariot again. Look at this. Look at this. There's your chariot again. And where's she going? She's going to the land where the sun shines. She's going to the land of six wands. Which is a land of victory after the battle, confidence in yourself, receiving the attention that you're worthy of. And that is Mike's uh, union card, to be honest with you. Six Wands is my union card. Beautiful story about the sun and the moon. The magician working with the divine. Give me a love card on this for Gypsy. I like this duck, man. It's gorgeous. Here we go. Gypsy Bones. Gypsy Bones. Gypsy Bones, a couple of love cards, something about the sun and the moon, darling. Something about the sun and the moon, new world, a new earth. For my high priestess, attraction, oh, you got your attractor on. It's about being in the now, and being in the moment. It's very powerful. See, been loving on yourself for a minute. Got the universe mirroring back at you. Wow, engagement came out. That's so nice. 
Love lives descending to a higher level of commitment. All my love, Gypsy. All my love, my friend. May all your dreams come true. All right, all right, all right, my lovelies. Thank you. All right. What a gorgeous deck. Powerful deck. Okay. My new friend Malia. Thank you, Boldly. Malia. Um, what you thinking about tonight? Hello, I am. Nice to see you tonight. Who else is here? Who else is here? Garnett. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. Malia, I see you right there. What you thinking about tonight? Let's pull you a couple cards, my friend. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, my lovelies. My new friend, Malia. Oh. Well. What does my future look like in your relationship? Okay. Okay, Malia. I'm going to play with Victorian Romantic right here. All right, Malia, what's a love story about a current relationship? What's it looking like in the near future? Okay, clarity, she wants clarity on her relationship. What's it looking like in the near future? Malia, Malia, a strong card to begin with, the lovers, now that's a strong soulmate bond, you know, we're looking at um, your current lover, your current friend, I don't know what the future is with it. It's a strong soulmate union right here, it is the lovers. The lovers can be a challenging card, you know. Um, but I mean, they look pretty sweet in this card. Let's see what's going on. The lovers, it's a strong soulmate union to say the very least. I don't know what's going to go on with the lovers. What you got, Malia? Um, let's we'll see, this is a chariot. Now, that is about forward movement towards victory. Let's we'll see what else comes out around here. I, I am getting nice love cards. If you guys are on some kind of shaken street, these are nice cards right here. It's a chariot to the land of, of Eden. This is Venus, it's love, it's abundance, it's a bunch of bookie babies and all kinds of bliss in that picture of that empress right there. I call that card the Garden of Eden. 
It's a chariot to Venus. There's justice right here. There's a devil right there. That devil is having to leave this story. There's a couple of doves over here with a sword. Talks about peace and tranquility and justice and things balancing out, which means they could be a little out of balance right now. You know, it's the lovers. But I do see forward movement towards the land of Venus. And I like justice where the devil has to go away. Malia. 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 There is a hair band that came out right here. Again, um, it's a, you know, it's the lovers. Um, justice to the hair fan after the Empress. If there is um, some challenging things going on, it has a potential for things to mellow out and get better with you two. I haven't seen any cards on this table about a cycle ending with you two. I do see some cards of a potential, you know, it's the lovers and justice is on here. Maybe a little trip. I don't see any cards of a deep separation. I, I just don't. We'll see what comes out around here. Well, strength, first and foremost. Strength. Strength. Malia. Why are you just left in an abusive relationship? Well, thank you for sharing that with me. Because that changes everything I'm looking at. I'm looking at Major Arcana. I don't know, maybe girls' night out. See, they all got their back to the lovers. Now, the lovers is a challenging card. I would line up with that strength, the major arcana. Huh? Thank you for sharing just that little piece with me. Strength, chariot, moving forward to the land of Venus. Justice. Oh, see, the devil had to leave. Just changes it up a little bit. There's a hair band right there. This, this, this is what we want. We want somebody spiritual. I mean, I, I, I don't even spend 10 minutes playing with anybody that's not spiritual, regardless of if I'm looking for a relationship with them or not. If you can't show me that you're spiritual within 10 minutes, I got to go, man. Life is short. I ain't got time to play with anybody that ain't spiritual. But that's me. I expect, you know, if you're going to be around me, you need to have hair pant energy about yourself. But It's a nice card right there because these two doves, it can be talking about a predictive energy because these two doves, and that sword is down in peace, but that devil has to leave. That devil has to leave, my empress. All right. All right. Yeah, this is a major arcana right here. Let's play with it. Temperance. That's the angel of the middle way. A lot of healing with temperance. I call it the art of allowance. Learning to allow nothing but the best into your life. Because we make the choices of who we play with. Ooh, look what showed up. Two cups. 
That's a beautiful soulmate energy right there. That would be these two doves right here. Look at that, temperance to two cups. It's a nice spiritual energy right there. <laughs> oh my love, this is a this is a wounded warrior in this deck right here, right? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, man. <laughs> we had enough. We're going to the mountaintop. We're going to the mountaintop. We're, we're, we are looking for love in all the right places around here. Yeah, we're going straight up to the top of the mountain. Spend some time with the divine. Yeah. Give me that art of allowance. Give me that two cups right there. Wow, a fool came out. There you go, man. About a fresh start, new beginning. A leap of faith in a new direction. There's a hair fan on here. Three of Swords. Three of Wands. Wow, look at this right here, man. So let's shake these three swords out. Here we go. Here we go. Out, out, out. Get the hay out of here, man. To three wands. The fool. Three wands. My warrior. You know, three wands is about the ships coming in, you know. That's looking like a tree of life to me right there. This fool looking at this tree of life. Go on with yourself. You deserve nothing but the best. Oh, look what's right here, man. Ten of Cops. Oh, that looks like a nice party. That looks like a nice party that you're heading towards. Yes, my warrior. And a new start, three of wands, huh? Setting your intentions, about your ships coming in. Ten cups, that's a happy card right there. Oh, and a new lover. A new lover's card, oh. Darling, this is a new, this story about a new friend right here. When you're ready. Oh, wow, this is powerful too, man. Ten pins came out with that. Lordy, this is an upgrade. <laughs> this is an upgrade around here, man. Ten cups of lovers, ten pinnacles. Over here under that tree of life, three wands. The one the fool's looking at right here. My warrior, my warrior. Going up to the mountaintop, the angel of the middle way is up there. Something about justice. Justice in the hair fan. Ooh, for my empress. Wow. That's a nice upgrade. Let me show you one more time. Ten of Cups. The Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. It's under the, it's under the tree right there. That old tree of life. Give me a card right here from Malia. Not separation. About the deception. Getting in the love boat, though. <laughs> getting in the love boat over here, man. Yeah, baby. And uh, getting to know each other. Getting to know each other in the love boat. Something about manifesting. A safe place to love. Hey, that's a nice story. Thank you for just sharing that little bit with me right there. May all your dreams come true, Malia. Enjoy the journey. Want you loving yourself. Uh, may need to be up on the mountaintop for a minute, but it's a nice promise from Source right here. It says you're moving in the right direction. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Love and light. Okay, everybody. I think, did we get everybody? Let me take a look. I do believe I did. 
Hot diggity dog. All right, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern. We're going to pull some cards for fire, babies. I want to thank everybody that grabbed a read with me tonight. Uh, maybe a little bit, but I will time stamp everything as soon as I can possibly get in there. Sometimes processing takes longer times than others. I don't know. We're figuring it out around here one day at a time. But anyway, my lovelies, thank you so very much for playing tarot with me tonight. May all your dreams come true. I'll see many of you tomorrow, fire babies. 6 p.m. Eastern. All my love, everybody. Bye for now.